Hi guys, welcome to live review four, I think on my channel at least, I'm not too sure what number we're up to, but um, yeah, as you can see it's myself and Dean once again, and we've got a sort of double feature from Beaver Town, and we're going to be looking at the Gamma Ray, which is a very popular beer, very popular beer indeed. And then, well, we're going to start off, actually, with the Smog Rocket, which is a smoked porter, which this will be the first time I've tried the smoked porter, but I think you've you've even reviewed it, haven't you, on your channel, Dean? Or... Um, no, I haven't. Ah, oh, okay. I've, I've had it a long, long while ago. Yeah. Probably about two or three years ago now. Um, I can remember having a can of it at a Byron burger joint. Okay, but it's been a while, so I'm looking forward to seeing it again. Yep, I mean, first time for me, and I do like my smoked beers, so I'd be interested to see how smoky it is. But I can't really see the ABV because I've got import stickers oh. stuck on mine. Uh, five point four. Five point four. So it's you know good, solid, sessionable. Yeah. Strength. Of course, Don't classic know. classic Beaver Town artwork. Is oh yeah, I think he does an absolutely fantastic stuff. Uh, Nick Dwyer, Amazing. I think his name is. Okay. And I think he's been with uh, Beaver Town right from the start, from what I uh, read up. And uh, I think Smog Rocket is one of the first beers that they actually brewed, even when they were at that sort of like homebrew level. Okay. So this is actually one of the longest serving beers from Beaver Town, and I think Neck Oil is the other one. Yeah, which we we we, we both reviewed, haven't yeah. we? Yeah, that was a fantastic beer. But yeah. um yeah, I mean, I've I've missed out on a lot of Beaver Town beers, and there's some beers that I've still not got around to. But I've never had a, a bad experience with them. So, so I, yeah. I, I know. I know for a fact before we get into this that this is going to be a very solid beer. Yeah. So yeah. Both of them. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, I made the mistake of because I, I picked up a can, but then I made the mistake of doing hangout and running out of beer, <laughs> and I ended up getting into it. And even though I'd drank a few beers by then, without spoiling the uh, review that we're going to be doing in a little bit, I really, really, really enjoyed it. Well, uh, anyway, I thought we would start off with the little bit stronger in flavour sort of thing, uh, mm. because of that porter style, and then lighten it up with the gamma ray. So, um, yeah, let's get this open. And if I remember correctly, I actually got these for a pretty good price, considering that they're in Germany, I think. I got hey. mine from my local bottle shop, and I paid um, I paid two pound twenty for the gamma ray, yeah, uh, and I paid one pound ninety for the smog rocket. Oh, okay, because I, I I think I paid more for the smog rocket, and about a euro less for the gamma ray, okay. which I think uh, tells you about the craft scene in Germany actually. A little bit, but um, yeah, that looks absolutely lovely already. Yeah, as good as Jet Black in it, really. Yeah, that's as Jet Black as I can make out in this light, anyway. And then yeah. poured with about two fingers worth of uh, a nice khaki sort of, um, almost like a espresso sort of head, nice yeah, and foamy. A one finger. Espresso looking head, yeah. Yeah. Looks looks nice and creamy. Oh yeah, especially at the top. But um, yeah, that's an absolutely gorgeous looking beer already. Yeah. Beautiful roastiness to it. Oh yeah, definitely get those roasted malts, and I get that smoked malt as well. But it's oh. not not too strong, which is nice. 
No, a, ni a nice... Yeah. The, the smokiness isn't overpowering, is it? No, it's just nice and gentle. And it mixes really nice with that almost like caramel sort of smell and malt character as well. That that smells absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, it smells wonderful. I mean, you get that smoke sense, but it's not as strong as uh, like um, uh, a, ra a German rank beer. No. Which has that sort of like honey glazed ham sort of flavour. It's it's more like a really nice sweet smokiness actually. It's one of those beers that you could just sit there and take a whiff of. It's absolutely lovely. Yeah. Anyway, I'm uh want to start in this one. Cheers. Cheers. Oh yeah. Mm. A bit more forward on the mouth, isn't it, the smokiness? Oh yeah. But then you get this sort of like nice almost uh like slightly milk chocolate flavour coming through. Bit of bit of chocolate, bit of dark chocolate. I get when it it starts off it starts off like um not a a, a, a milk chocolate but not a really dark chocolate, but then <clears throat> it sort of intensifies a little, but not too much. I'm getting, I'm getting an ever so slight hint of coffee grounds. Yeah. Yeah, it's almost got like a, a mild black coffee without the milk yeah. sort of flavour to it. That 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 smokiness in it though, it's really it it puckers it puckers the lips up for me. Yeah, the more you get into it, actually, the stronger it seems to get. Because I usually find with beers like that, you take that first sip, and it's like that with like a sort of like a goes beer, and yeah. you'll be like, oh, what what's that? But then like that second sip, it's a lot more smoother. But this. That smoky character comes out a lot more the more you drink it, and it especially it almost builds up on the back end the more you drink it as well. Yeah. Sort of like you've been uh, at, at a barbecue and you've like inhaled it and you can like feel it lingering. I mean, I, I don't mean that in a, a bad way. I, I actually really quite like that, but I could definitely see people being a little bit put off by the smokiness overall. There's a, there's a bit of vineness in there as well, I'm getting. Yeah. I'm getting red red currants in the back end of it. Yeah, definitely. A really nice dried fruits. But you definitely get the, the porter character and you get that porter yeah, body sure. to it as well. So um yeah. That's lovely. It it does actually look like a coffee. Like you you find that a lot with uh porters and stouts in general, but this actually just does look like yeah. you've got a black coffee and you're about to put milk in. It's beautiful. I mean that you know, the the lacing that, that head's leaving. Oh yeah. Like you said, I've, ne I've never had a bad beer myself from them. No. Every, every, I think every beer that they've done has been excellent. Oh yeah. I mean, of course, of course, we're going to have our favourites. Um, my my least favourite would probably be their saison that they do. That 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 quell saison. Uh, I've I've not tried that one, but I've seen it. Yeah. Um, I was. It was it was it was good, good beer, but mm -hmm. but not their best beer. Yeah, Th this is de definitely up there. For me, it's probably not my favourite that I've had from Beaver Town. 
But I do really like smoked beers in general, and I think this is a really good smoked beer. And even though I'm not the biggest fan of porters, there's enough there coming from those other characteristics that just lifts that porter style up a bit for me personally. And it's one of those ones where it's got a nice, somewhat light body to it. Mm. Carbonation isn't too strong in there. And the alcohol is <clears throat> relatively low. But you couldn't, I don't know if you could really do a session on this. I don't think I'd want to do a session on no, it. it. I, I'd, I'd, have, I'd have a couple of arse of it. Yeah. And then I'd, I'd probably move on to something, something else. Yeah. Um, but that's not taking anything away from the beer. Oh yeah, definitely. By not wanting to chug it all, all night long, mm -hmm. I think it's just a, a beer that you, I, I'd be quite content with just having a couple of arse of it, yeah. and I'd, I'd be happy yeah. with that. And it's one of those ones that you could go back to again. Mm, yeah, you, you do yeah. find some of these beers, and you're like, yeah, I really enjoyed that, but I don't really see myself going to the shops and buying more in time soon and especially if you can get it for like one pound ninety back in the UK. Yeah. For for what you're getting, that's an absolute yeah, it's, it's steal, yeah. Yeah, it's it's a bargain. I mean I think I paid about three three to four euros for mine, which you know, it's not that bad considering. Considering uh, yeah, considering uh it's an import beer. Mm-hmm. That's that's not really a bad price. Yeah, but I just find it funny that this was uh, a little bit more expensive than the Gamma Ray. I mean, I'm not too sure how if the price that you got yours for is like that throughout the UK, or if it depends on location. Or uh... I, I, I paid, I definitely paid more for it in the past. It was ah, just my, okay. my my local. Well, it's, it's more of a wine shop, and he's, he's just sort of dipping his toe in the water, and he's got a, he's got a nice little craft corner developing. Oh yeah, and I go in there quite a bit, or when I can. And he's he's got he's got three beers in there from Beaver Town. He's got the Gamma, the Smog Rocket, and the Neck Oil, mm -hmm. and they're all around the, the one eighty two pound twenty mark. That's not too bad at all, that. Um. Yeah. Yeah. A good a good solid beer really for that sort of price I, I think for me what makes this beer good and you touched on it briefly is they've got the smoky aspect of it just right it's not too overpowering but yeah. it's in there and it, it it marries quite nicely with the with the dark malts in it to begin with for me oh yeah Yeah, that's what I was saying for like the, the swakeness does develop a lot more as you drink it. But it is surprisingly drinkable. And even though I know that's completely yeah. contradictory to what I was saying before, it's amazing how when you're drinking it, things can just change. But for for what it is, it's a it's a, a porter that's got smoked malts in there. Some people some people yeah. may want to take the time with a beer like this. But you could, without knowing, you know, finish your glass in little to no time yeah easy yeah easy but yeah i love that chocolatey coffee flavor and then that smokiness just adds a little bit of a kick to it it just yeah it just helps it along when you yeah. when you you put it in your mouth it, it hits the palate straight away you swallow it and that that smokiness and the, and, and the malts that are in it just just help it along nicely as it goes down um, and then you get that almost spent coffee grounds sort of finish for me. Yeah. It, I've got this slight lining. It feels on my mouth after I've finished it. Like, it's a little bit sticky on the back end, which is really nice. Because you you sometimes have that and it's it's a little bit too much. Mm, but I think yeah. the, the beauty of this beer is it's just amazingly balanced yes. in all aspects it's it's not too dry of a porter but it's not too uh, 
creamy or chocolatey like some porters can be and we've said that the smoke the smoky aspect is just that little just that but like the icing on the cake really mm. that sets yeah. it apart from other beers but doesn't completely take it into a weird direction it's i mean there's, there's definitely there's definitely sweetness in there yeah but but with having the, the, the smoke in it, it it that savory edge just just tones that sweetness down so it doesn't become too i suppose some porters can be a bit sickly sweet yeah how about that this this isn't no never gets too much never gets too overwhelming mm. Mm. um it, it's exactly what you would expect to want from a, a smoked porter and I, I don't think i've had too many smoked porters to be honest so i can't really compare it to uh many beers the only real what? point of reference i've got is maybe like the schlenkerler ralph beer oh, oh, and, which is just just going to say about that one i mean that that is proper proper smoke yeah, dedication that, that is when you've got that smoke yeah right up there really in your face i mean they're completely two different styles of yeah. beer but this this would be um i know i know like it's beaver town it's craft but from someone that was drinking the usual run-of-the-mill stuff and they wanted to maybe try a smoked beer this would be a perfect example because i don't think it would bombard them that much yeah. opposed to which would just you know if you never had a smoke beer oh, before yeah. and tried that yeah that would just whack you around the chops yeah, that would be way too much smoky bacon sort of mm. what you get from it yeah but and it's going to sound weird to say this but like you were saying for the people who want to try a smoked beer and if you like stuff like guinness if you're at that point where you know guinness is your drink and you want to get into something a little bit more different and you don't just want to go down the hoppy pale ale <coughs> ipa sort of route mm. i think this would actually be a good like stepping stone into the craft world if you're yeah. the sort of person who likes to have a nice pint of guinness which I, I i enjoy guinness yeah a lot it's not always the case of oh see anything they've got there sometimes i'm just in the mood to have a nice pint of like guinness <laughs> extra cold and i think it's got i'm uh, probably gonna get shit for this by some people but it's got some slight characteristics to it which is interesting because obviously guinness is a stout but that smokiness sort of has that flavor you get from a guinness it's weird it's hard to explain but as i'm drinking this i'm picturing a pint of guinness okay and i think this would be a good leap from a guinness into the craft world even though it's a completely different style yeah i mean there's, there's not really that many smoked beers about is there can't think of any like you know mainstream easy to get hold of yeah i can't think of many craft brewers that that have got a a smoked beer in their core range either i think thornbridge do one Okay. um i'm just trying to think what it is now i'm not sure is it otto is it or is that the doppelbock i don't i can't remember i think i, I know they, I, I know they definitely do one bamberg it might be called bamberg that makes sense oh yeah i yeah i can't I, the, the name's gone now but uh i know they do one and that that's a pretty a pretty solid beer other than that i really can't think of any other breweries that no that do a smoke no. beer and it, it's sometimes just like a seasonal or a limited run yeah. sort of beer which I, I think more more brewers should try not just experimenting with uh, a smoked style but have it as a somewhat regular beer because there'll, there'll always be people who will 
drink it. I suppose mm. um, if you know if you like your smoked beers, which I think I think the smoked style is so underrated. Yeah, because a lot of people get this impression that it's it's too overwhelming, it's too in your face, and yet there are beers where it's like a little bit too strong with it, the level of smokiness you get there. But it's amazing what you can do by just adding a little bit of that smoked malt to <clears throat> complement other malts and maybe like the sort of like old fashioned British hops. Yeah. And I think I think it's great that this is one of Beaver Town's most like easy to get hold of. It's affordable. It's not one of these like limited collaboration batches or anything like that. It's just one of those beers that it's always there. Most bottle shops will stock it and you'll probably pay you know at most two to three quid or more towards the three quid mark. And for what you're getting, mm. you know, you really can't fault it. No, definitely. It, it's a really solid beer that the, between between the, the roastiness of it and the smokiness it's smack bang for me straight down the middle 50 50 there's none there's not one that's more dominating the than, than the other yeah it's smack bang down the middle and it's it's a, a perfect marriage of um of flavors yeah it does nothing there that's out of place or domineering Yeah, I was, I was really quite surprised at how balanced this beer would have been. And you, you had this uh, the first time with, at like a burger bar. I think yeah. if you've got like a burger with like a nice barbecue sauce, I think this is going to go really well with, with that sort of like sweet smokiness and slight spiciness you get with a barbecue sauce. And I think, I think it's going to complement that perfectly without it being too... Yeah overwhelming or too uh stuffing i mean it it was it was a few years since i had it i can't recall what burger it was but i know it had plenty of uh, chili ch chili jam or stuff like that on it oh yeah and it i had a, I, it was a, be a beautiful experience with this beer cool regarding the beer i think it, at the time it was a bit too cold um, yeah I, i've had this out of the fridge about half an hour prior to coming on to this hangout yeah same here. just about right just about right there's, there's a nice yeah. little bit of chill in it but it's not for chilled i think for me personally mine was hot. maybe a little bit too chilled but not enough for it to take too much away from the beer yeah but um yeah i think that's a really really nice surprise and it's one that i will definitely pick up again yeah i'm i'm gonna now i know it's available sort of local to me without having to put an online order on you know i'll grab it yeah oh yeah Yeah, I'm very, very impressed with that one. But like I'm saying, it's not my favourite beef tan beer that I've had, but it's one that I'm definitely going to... Because I do like my smoked beers, and I think this mm. is a good... If you want just something a little bit more lighter and a little bit more sessionable without losing body or character, I think that's a, a perfect little beer in that regard. A smoked beer for me, I don't drink that many of them. But when I do have them, I really do appreciate it. It's definitely something different. Oh yeah. But not, but not overwhelming like a, a lambic. Yeah, lambics are a style that I, I, I kind of enjoy, but I think I've really got to be in the mood for it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I, I want to enjoy that style, but a part of me doesn't quite dig it. Yeah, and that. But I'll, I'll keep I'll keep chipping away at it. Yeah, 
and that's one of the reasons why I probably won't anytime soon look into even seeing how much a bottle of Cantillon would be because <laughs> I've just I've really got I've, I've got some interest in it I've got interest in every I want to try as many beers as I can but it, it's just not my cup of tea and why would I want to spend 20 to 30 quid for a high quality product that would probably you know be a flavor sensation but it's just at this point really not for me at okay. all <laughs> yeah it's like um the is it a, a goetze where yeah it's an old lambic mixed with a a, a fresher lambic i like i think that's what it is i think that's how you define it or that's a type of that style and it's like it just there's no in between for me i mean i'll drink them i'll happily review them but i'll pick many different styles or many specific beers before i'd pick even a you know relatively cheap one because i know that i'll enjoy something else a little bit more yeah yeah what sort of um score would you give this beer then peter uh if i was give this a score out of 10 i'd probably give it an eight out of ten yeah i'll go with that um it because it's a really great example of a smoked beer um i like how balanced it is but i'd like to see it with a little bit more of a smoky character okay without pushing the limits too far but, um, did, they, did they do um, a special release of this beer? Was it Imperial Smog Almighty or something like that? I think so. Uh, that, that's something I'd definitely be interested in if they do another batch of that. Yeah. So I'd just like to see what they could do to this beer. Because on its own, it's damn good. And it'd be interesting to see if they amped it up with the ABV and amped it up with the amount of smoked malts hmm. but um yeah it's a solid eight out of ten for me what about you yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna give it an eight out of ten without a doubt mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a it's a good a good steady core beer yeah. in these guys and like you said earlier on it's, it's it's is it their oldest or one of their, one oldest, of their beers? oldest i think this and neck oil were the first two beers that they brewed um, I think you can. They've got actually a lot of information on their website um, about like the timeline of the brewery and each like beer that they've done. It tells you when they started brewing it. But um, yeah, I think that that's that's quite brave for one of your first beers for your brewery to be something like a smoked porter and. Uh, yeah, and the fact that it's a core beer, it gives people who are getting into craft. I mean, yeah, you know, you've got three great beers in that shop that you go to. You've got the the neck oil, the gamma ray, which we're going to be looking at now, and um, the smog rocket. Three completely different beers, mm. and it's not going to hurt your wallet at all compared to other beers, no. even some other British breweries, core ranges, and it gives you three different experiences yeah all, all good experiences as well. oh yeah yeah so uh, yeah beaver town smoke rocket smoke porter very very happy with that one yeah. and um, if anybody is watching this or if they watch it after the stream uh, comments are always welcome on your opinions of the beer and uh, yeah, just let us know what some of your favourite smoke beers. Uh, when we finish the gamma ray, I'll go over like the the scores that both beers have got on like rate beer and stuff. But um, yeah, I'm always interested to see what other people think of the beers that we cover. Mm -hmm. Feedback is always welcome. Oh yes.
Now, I've been I've been looking forward to drinking both of these beers, but I'm really, really looking forward to drinking this beer because it seems like yeah. it's been yeah. years I've had it. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to go into tasting notes now, but when I had it last week, I was just like, wow. Yeah. Uh, so glad to be back. But, um, yeah, the beer that we're going on to now is probably one of Beaver Town's most popular beers. And that is the Gamma Ray, which is the American Pale Ale, which is clocking in at, again, 5.4%. 5 5.4, 5 yeah. And IBUs are 55. Now, actually, the Smoke Porter that we just covered, that is an IBU count of 29. It felt a little bit more than that for me personally. Okay. But um, anyway, we'll get into that sort of stuff after the reviews. But um, yeah, once again, if I can show it without the glare, fantastic artwork yeah. from Nick DeWine. And and for me, I think this this beer came out, was it the beginning of 2014 or the end of 2013? I think, I think it's definitely around that time. I'm not too sure. I forgot what I uh, looked up. I, I might, I might completely be, be mistaken on yeah. this, but for me, this this branding was like the beginning of crazy looking beer cans for me. They, they, oh, yeah. These got the ball rolling with, yeah. with this example. Because it's just the artwork is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, fantastic. I, I loved it, and I love the 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 altered artwork that he did for the Tropicana. It's yeah. just you, you, you see these beers, and they're not only like uh, iconic, but you don't even have to see the Beaver Town logo. You just see like the use of color, the illustration. Yeah. You know that you're going to get a Beaver Town beer. Everything, everything just works on the can, doesn't it? Yeah. The, the colour scheme is just fantastic. Yeah. And I mean, the, the lupuloid can. Yeah. <sighs> Still need to try that one. That just looks... And sounds. Yeah, I've had that. And the... Uh, uh, what is it now? The um, Holy Cowbell, is it? I think so. I, the, I, is that a, that a stout? I think is it a milk stout or just a stout? Milk I don't stout. know, but that that's got well. I mean, all the cans are just fantastic. The, the artwork is just you know. I don't care what anybody says. If you if you're not into craft beer and you go into a beer shop and that is on the shelf, you're not gonna not see it, are you? Yeah. You're gonna you're gonna be intrigued to pick it up and see what it is yeah it's like if you know the beer or if you don't know the beer it's one that like you say you'll just walk past and you will look at it no matter yeah, you'd what you'd have to pick it up wouldn't you yeah. you would have to pick it up yeah and it's one of those beers that chances are you probably throw in a couple of cans of it with something else yeah yeah but um yeah i could, I could smell it as i was pouring it into the glass yeah and uh yeah that's what i'm talking about that is beautiful Lo isn't it yeah lovely hazy lemony yeah golden colors a little bit of amber in there as well gorgeous carbonation yeah nice slow levels of carbonation in mine uh a, a one finger just slightly off white head but it looks, yeah. looks the part. nice and firm i think i've got two fingers of mine and um yeah, I mean, I've not got the, the best glass to show this one off, but even in this glass, it looks it just looks yeah. fantastic. It, it would look the bee's knees in a plastic pint pot, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fantastic stuff. Oh. I just love that smell. It's... It's one of those ones that you smell so many times when you're doing beer reviews. Yeah, yeah. But at the same time, when you smell this, just that the sheer amount of like hop character. <sighs> bags and bags of 
pineapple, yeah. mango. Again, like a sherbetty lemon sort of aroma lemon, as well. Yeah. A little bit of mango, definitely get that grapefruit and that bitterness from the grapefruit as well. Even though it, it, it's, it's just all down to the hops. Lovely. My mouth is watering. Yeah, it's lovely. It. It's one of them beers. Yeah. And again, it's one of those beers I could just sit there and just smell. Yeah. The, the look of it, the smell of it. Yeah. It's just. I mean, the way craft beer is, the IPA, like what's in there, obviously the New England stuff, but the IPA is all especially the IPA, it's always changing, there's always trends, there's always yeah. sort of such, but this still stands up Definitely. to some of those juice bombs. Because it's got that look just so fruity. Mm. But it's you could just come in from that, those hops, and it's... I've, I've got to talk in. Yes. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. Yeah. Straight away, that first mouthful. Super. You oh. get enticed by that aroma. You take that first one and you get yeah. everything that you've picked up. That You just sucked in by the whole experience of it yeah it's a complete from from the from the can to the look of the beer to the taste of the beer it's the complete package yeah and it I, I feel bad that i haven't had it for such a long while i used to i used to be all over it oh yeah it's, it's one of the most consumed beers for me around about the 2014 2015 sort of time i was just completely obsessed with it and then I, I forgot all about it and i feel quite bad now for that because it still like you said stands up with yeah. the best of them today because you get so overwhelmed by all the other beers that you try and stuff you don't even have to be doing beer reviews it's just if you're into this sort of stuff it's just amazing how you can have a beer that you've been drinking for like couple of years that you'll always go to but then you get lost in the rest yeah. of it and you end up just like letting it sit aside and trying all these new ones but as soon as you get to try it again you bought back into it again yeah. aren't you yeah and it's almost like you've tried it again for the first time yeah definitely definitely yeah super fruity mouthfeel grapefruit yeah. and pineapple seem to be up there yeah the, the, the for me the two domineering fruity flavors in there the bitterness is just lovely i mean yeah i never used to be really into the the high bitterness like high ibu ipas or even like the mid ibu ipas they just like them really nice and juicy i mean this is i think the ibu on this is 55 so it's still that sort of mid range yeah but it's just so nice and it just ends that beer it's still got a nice crisp bitter bite to it though yeah even at that sort of ibu range yeah you get those lovely like hop oils in there which sometimes you you'll get these like hoppy beers and you'll drink them and that like the hop character is almost like the the, the byproduct of it you just like yeah. the aftermath of it you don't actually get the flavor from the hops but this, you get just hops in abundance, and then that I could complements it perfectly. A, a beer that I, I'd be quite happy to drink this all night. Yeah, six cans of that—that's that's yeah, perfect I, for me. I've been made up with it, to be honest. Yeah, and I think it's one of those few beers that. Even here, I'd probably pick up a couple of cans every now and then mm. because it's just 
so mouth-watering as well, though, isn't yeah. it? Carbonation's not too prickly, but it just helps that beer. Yeah, just swell well around the, your the mouth. right amount. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing aggressive about it, carbonation-wise. No. no. It's, it's a nice, but, but there's enough in there, like you say, to to push that tropicalness around because it is it is a bit of a a, a bit of a tropical sort of. I mean, I haven't had the Tropic Gamma, so I can't compare it to yeah. this one. I think um, it's from what I even I only drank it last weekend, but I think from the Tropicama, I think you had more of like a that sort of vibrant, like slightly sweetened fruit juice character. Okay. Which this kind of has, but it's not. You know, when you try the Tropicama, you can taste that there's been the the fruit juice and the pulp and stuff added to the yeah the beer. But this, what they can achieve, and this this beer has been around for a few years now. The what they've achieved with that, with that hop build, with that mouthfeel. You know, you're getting some breweries now who aren't even able to make a, a, an IPA like this. And this this has been this is an established beer that's been around for a good few years. And they they've got they've got it right. They've nailed it with this one. But for me, it's it's almost like their backbone of the brewery. This this beer. Oh yeah. Because because it's got such a reputation, and will still continue to have a good reputation. Yeah. Um. Um. Yeah. It's just it's it's just fucking amazing yeah. stuff, really. Did. Never mind all this, all this new stuff that's out now. Yeah. I mean, get a load of that yeah. still. Yeah, it's Just classic. Give me a, a few cans of that. But uh, with the the lupuloid, was that a beer that replaced another beer, or was it just a new beer added to the core range? Um, no, it was on rotation, wasn't it? I think. Oh, okay. Um, I I think they gave way to neck oil. They they stopped they stopped producing neck oil. Or, no, 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 not neck oil. Sorry, I think it was cowbell. Oh yeah, cowbell, beer, isn't it? yeah. Yeah, they stopped producing cowbell for Lupinoid, and then I think in the, in the winter months, I think they bring cowbell back oh, okay. or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I, I, they, I don't think they will. But they never need to change this. They never need to swap it out for anything, anything else. Anything. They just need to carry on brewing that and uh yeah american pale ale. to me this is almost like our version of like sierra nevada pale ale this yeah. is like the british like because sierra nevada pale ale is probably it for me it's one of my all-time favorite beers that's and, a solid beer that is yeah yeah and it, it's it's one of the best beers in its style i think personally and it, it's it's iconic. I mean, Sierra Nevada have been brewing you know, since the seventies, the late seventies, and stuff. So they've they've obviously got that reputation and they've got that history. But I, I consider Gamma Ray to be just as important to the British craft beer scene as mm. the Sierra Nevada Pale Ale is to the American craft beer scene. Yeah. We've we've had a few a few messages from our good pal Craig Kent Beer Reviews. He's, he's left a few messages. I don't know if you can see them. Um, Peter or not? I'll have to. I don't know why I've not done this already. I have to open YouTube on my phone. How are you doing, Craig? If you're still watching, mate. Let me just see. Because I like to try and keep uh, up with the comments, but you just get so lost in the. Mm. And plus, it's it's just shame they can't have it on the same screen. As yeah, it's, where you're. I've, ne I've never never been able to do that. I think there was. A, I think you can, but I don't know yeah, how to do I it. I have no idea. I mean, the only way I know is by opening up another tab. But if I have anything else opened up on my, um, 
when I'm doing a hangout, nothing else seems to work. It seems to slow down my computer so much. So yeah. the only way I can do it is by logging into my other YouTube account and looking at the video on uh, the app. So Craig has written, um, hello Craig again if you're still watching. Uh, Hi guys, everyone has gone out for a coffee, so I'm here watching in Camden, London. I have two beers at home, fire and smoke from Weird Beard. Another I have at home is the Closet Imp Lord Smog Rocket. Ah, that's the one, yeah. yeah. Uh, Gamma Ray, a great go-to beer when I see it locally to me. And uh, yeah, was, the, he was talking about the Loopy Lloyd being the new core range, and he says, all good, fellas. So, uh, yeah, yeah cool. sounds like you've got a good couple of beers there, Craig. I hope you're having fun in, in the old smoke, Craig. I hope you've got plenty of good beer. Well, you should have plenty of good beer to have that neck of the woods. Oh, yeah. You're not far from a, at least a vendor. That's another good quality London brew. That is weird beer. The only one I've had was the Sadaho or Sadar. No. Oh, is that the one with the wax on the... On the yeah, it was uh, an imperial stout. Yeah. That was a really, really good in piece style. I can remember getting. I, I, I picked a. They, they did. They started doing a bit of canning a couple of years back, and then it stopped. Whether it was just prototype stuff or not, I don't know. But I, I got a can of their uh, decadent stout. Oh man, that was <laughs> fucking fantastic. That was. And then and then it stopped, and yeah. it was all bottles again. What maybe it didn't work out at the time because I know maybe. I know canning is is it's quite expensive to do, isn't it? Oh yeah, because you've got to have a completely new system. You've got to in, commit in to sort of, an yeah. X amount of uh, cans, haven't oh, you, yeah. to do it? And uh, yeah, I, I think it's I think it's great, but brave at the same time that Cloudwater have um, started doing cans, even though I've heard mixed things about them, but. Okay. What do you expect? They've only just started. Give them, give them a chance. Well, I mean, I mean, going back, going back to this, uh, uh, from going from bottle to can, back in twenty fourteen or let's say twenty fourteen, I know there was there was shitloads of problems. Uh, you know, um, you just just opening it up and it was just fucking, it was just going everywhere. Yeah. They just and then and then they, they managed to sort of sort that out and now fantastic oh yeah so it's, you're going to get them teething problems aren't you when you, you yeah. move them from a, a bottle to a can yeah see that just it's one of the the issues that i have when it comes to like craft beer is when someone fucks up they get so much bullshit aimed at them like people say, oh, I'm not buying beers from them anymore, and they'll start, you know, leaving like really derogatory comments towards like the brewers and stuff. And it's like, you know, not every brewery is going to produce, you know, that 100% quality all the time, especially when it comes to new new things. Hmm. I mean, uh, I've been seeing a lot of posts um, about the Brewdog and Cloudwater collaboration. Mm. Where there's all like the the hop paste sort of thing at the top of the bottles. Okay. And it, I think it's perfectly safe to still drink it because it's just come from the hops. And I, I can understand why people would be annoyed when they pop open a bottle of beer that they've been looking forward to and they've got all this like sludge on mm. the top of yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. But like some of the reactions that I've seen, then it's like, yeah, okay, just scrape it off and just pour the beer. And you know, I'm sure if you talk to like someone at Brewdog, their customer service, you'll be able to get like a replacement or something. I'm pretty damn sure of it. But yeah, every every everyone has teething problems. Mm. It happens. I, yeah. I think I think it's just it's just the world we live in now, isn't it? Every, everybody expects instant perfection almost don't they mm -hmm. with, with everything life in general you know it, it's it's a it's a now now life isn't it yeah you know you, 
you, you do an order whether it's beer or or online shopping and you expect it to be delivered fucking literally as you press yeah payment sent you know yeah you want it there and now fast-paced life yeah yeah fuck it bollocks to that yeah and i think it, it for me personally yeah. i think it would have been better for cloud water to try and keep that canon stuff like on the bush a little bit yeah and not like like pro we're going into canon as you know from blah blah, blah just just to give themselves a little bit of breathing space i mean i think cloud yeah, I mean, water are one of those beers breweries that they'll always have the fan for oh yeah same as magic rock and, and northern monk yeah um you know you, you're gonna have your your disciples of that brewery easy because it i mean yeah fantastic beers Nearly finished mine. Yeah. Away already. Yeah, I've only got a bit left now. It's just so <laughs> nice and drinkable. Again, I wish I brought some more of them. Yeah, I wish I picked up another can. I don't know why I do that because I do it. I do it every time, and I know <laughs> what this beer is. I know. I know what I was expecting from this beer because I've had it before in the past. Yeah. Why? Why I only bought one? I, I'll never know. But I, I can always go back and get some more. Oh yeah, it's always easy to get hold of. Mm. Even here, it seems in Germany as well. I mean, I'll pay a little bit extra, but it's one of those few like instances where <laughs> I'm okay to pay that little bit extra for a beer that I know I'll enjoy. That isn't just a good beer. It ticks all the boxes for me perfectly. Mm. And I think for what it is, if it's i mean i think we can still talk about the beer but it's almost a 10 out of 10 for me this beer i'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a nine out of ten I yeah it's worthy of that yeah the the only thing that's stopping it from getting a 10 out of 10 is just because of how many other breweries have come along with the interpretations of american pale ale but you know nine times out of ten this will not only <laughs> stand with the best but could surpass a lot of other attempts at the style yeah the, even the, the day they stop making this is the day that other craft beer of the similar sort of elk has took over from it yeah it's core they're still making it it's still widely available in i should imagine there's quite a few tap houses in london that have it oh yeah um yeah and, and, and like you said peter it it can it can it's not punching above its weight or anything like that and it can keep up with the best of now the here and now it, it yeah. wouldn't get it wouldn't get lost really no there's, there's plenty going on with it oh yeah i think even in a few years from now we could say the exact same things and, and the the only thing that will probably detract this beer in the future is if they start meddling with the recipe yeah or completely replace it with a new I, I, was, I was just going to say is it is it beaver town's punk ipa i think so yeah yeah it, it's beef towns it's brew dogs punk ipa it's sierra nevada's pale ale yeah and i think like the sierra nevada pale ale if beaver town is still brewing in 10 20 30 years time i think this will be one of those beers where we'll look back and that'll be on like like the top 10 most important uk craft beers in history <laughs> and i yeah. think i think this is worthy of being on that list yeah yeah because I, I i don't know it's in this climate it still stands out and it still provides you with all those hops if you're a massive hophead you're going to get it with this if you yeah. want to yeah. 
just a nice kickback beer. You're going to get it with this. Uh, and it's a, it's a beer that you, you, you could session the shit out of it if you wanted to as well. I, I would. I'd oh, be yeah. quite happy. Be quite happy with it. Yeah. It, I don't. I don't get bored of it. Um, no. Not, uh, you know, going back to the smog rocket, a really fantastic, flavourful beer. But I don't think I could do more than two. No, definitely not. Not in one sitting. With, with the gamma ray, it's just a bit. You could just you could just do it all night for me. Mm -hmm. I'd, I'd, I'd be quite happy with it. Yeah, it's it's one of those perfect beers like for the next chat group chat that we do. You just want to sit back and enjoy mm -hmm. a good quality mm -hmm. beer. If you, yeah, you know you've got company coming round or if you you know you're sitting down watching a film or if you're out you know going for somewhere to eat and they've got it there you know it's, it's a no-brainer it's just a, a a wonderful wonderful little beer and and I mean, the artwork it's, it's it's biblical almost yeah it's 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 the start of everything because i'm sure i'm pretty sure these th that actual design was the first sort of wacky yeah and craft beer. yeah I, I can't think of anything any other brewery that actually meddled with something that sort of weird yeah apart from i mean there's probably american brewers out there that have been, you know, some of that, some of the cans I see on Instagram. I mean, yeah. it's like, wow, fucking hell. Yeah, like um, clown shoes and um, yeah, yeah, gigantic. Yeah. Some of their gigantic. Yeah. Insane. Oh yeah. 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 Th then you've got the likes of Treehouse and Trillium, <laughs> yeah. where it's just simple, basic. It's, yeah. it's a, a wrap, isn't it, on a can, and it's just simple. Yeah. But that that sells nevertheless whereas this you you're almost like tempted just to keep hold of the the can itself yeah and that that's why i kind of like some of the beaver town beers where they've got the actual wrap on the can because i love those cans where they've got the actual that basic design Halo. on them yeah and then underneath you've got like this the starriness and you've got the label because i do like to collect labels yeah and uh yeah it's just it 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 surprised me that they've not like released one of those um because i think too old did it where they brought uh, like an art book with basically all of their labels in it and it's like one of these coffee table sort of things because there will okay. be people who would buy it yeah definitely yeah and um i, and I, I know on the on the beaver town web shop I think it's linked with beer merchants or it used to be i'm not sure if they've got their own one now or not but you can get like um limited edition prints see that would be cool it's one of those things where i would you know that i would potentially pick one up because it's yeah if i had a spare few quid oh yeah i think straight away I, I'd, I'd order the gamma ray prints yeah and have it on yeah pride in place on the on the wall like if the missus had let me, I doubt yeah. it. But, uh. yeah. <laughs> but I think the design is part of what Beaver Town is because I think they've used the same guy since the beginning, even when they were doing bottles. I think yeah. it's always been the same guy. And, you know, he's not involved in the brewing process, he doesn't come up with recipes, but he is part of Beaver Town as well yeah. as the other people involved. And I think you don't really see that too much nowadays where you've got like the designer who's you know they sometimes they're like oh we'll we'll get in touch with this guy and he'll you know we'll see if he'll produce some artwork for us that sort of thing mm. and I, you know you see all these beers and if you were to stand them up next to each other you wouldn't know they were from the same brewery no so i think it's really interesting now that you know a lot of the magic rock stuff uh the <clears> small <throat> cans and the big cans even though they could design completely differently you stack them all together and it looks great on the shelf 
mm. and the, the artwork stands out itself as well and um, I mean Brewdog their artwork it's it's uniform but it's very corporate yeah I mean they've got I mean I, I wish they went down the the avenue like Beaver Town I mean that they dip their toes in the water regarding stuff like the uh, Albino Squid Assassin yeah and the um oh what's the other beer that they did and it was really wacky oh, it's it that uh, in, in, the invalid uh, invalids yeah for combat yeah. yeah 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 they've, i mean so they've done a few sort of out there sort of designs i just wish they'd move that onto their core stuff as well just to, i don't know just to freshen it up or something because I don't know. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not the biggest Brewdog label fan. It just yeah. says what it is, isn't yeah. it? And then you've got all that stuff on the yeah. back, which I never. I never read. I get fucking fed up for that. Yeah, they they, they do, do tend to go on about oh, ridiculous things that have got nothing to do with beer, but it don't make sense. No, does it? it don't make sense of it. Yeah, and as much as I love them, I don't know do. But they need a shake up, in my opinion. They they seem to have produced a lot of really dull beers in the yeah. past couple of months. Well, not a couple of months, like yeah, twelve months or so. I think I think they've got too complacent. Yeah. That they that they. they they believe in their own hype almost mm -hmm. um you know that they, they, they put they, they've put themselves on a pedestal haven't they oh yeah and to begin with to begin with rightly so but you've got to keep up with it yeah and they haven't have they they've they're just up here but we're not making anything new or different or you know something to, to get your attention they've stopped yeah. doing all that and they're just sort of going over old ground almost i, I think you touched on it or uh, someone did touch on it about um like their their lagers yeah you know they're just they're just changing the names on them now basically pretty much yeah this is lager well i mean lager lager 77 i think it was called first then it was this is lager and then it was kingpin yeah you know now it's all of a sudden is it zeitgeist now or have they gone back to another yeah zeitgeist is back out which, which to be fair is not a bad drink i i i reviewed that not so long ago actually yeah um yeah dark the dark lager it's, it's all right it's not bad um but it i don't know i just think for the brewery i just think they need to sort of just I don't know just do a bit more instead of trying trying to maybe, maybe they've, they've they've done everything so fast and too quick yeah i could definitely see that maybe that's their downfall um i mean i'll still i'll still continue to buy their beers oh yeah i mean elvis juice oh, I, just, oh, I, just, I love that beer yeah fantastic beer yeah but um i'm sorry Dean. i was going to go off on a completely different tangent then no go on mate yeah go on that i'm saying with the this uh the the new england ipa that they brewed with cloud water recently it seems that a lot of the people are saying it's a really good ipa it's you know it, it's got that sort of feel of what you get in like massachusetts from some of these you know insane breweries yeah but I'm actually surprised that they didn't like go the full hog with it. I mean, I think a few of the guys from Cloudwater are actually in America going from, you know, all of these big, well-established breweries in that region and stuff. And, you know, you've got the facilities of Brewdog and then you've got like the sort of experimental side of Cloudwater. Mm. You'd have thought that they would have like, almost on the verge of nailing what most people would consider a, a new england ipa and part of me thinks 
and I, I'm not gonna, you know, throw accusations. It's just what I, I feel. But I think Brewdog sort of held back a little bit too much in fear of alienating, uh, like the more casual Brewdog drinkers. All right. Okay. Instead of going all out and potentially brewing, you know, mm. our answer to a New England style IPA where it's almost like not pulpy but it's got that really f yeah thick which body you, to it which you think brew dog would be more inclined to do as in with the, the propaganda that they push out you know we're doing it our way screw you yeah. sort of good yeah. thing yeah interested yeah but they're, they're not really because they they play it safe a bit too much when it actually comes to think, the beers themselves I think it's about numbers now, isn't it? With them? Yeah. Which, you know, Vol fair point to them. they started off as two guys doing a home brew, yeah, essentially, yeah. and now they've got, yeah. you know, they're probably the biggest craft brewer in the UK. Well, I think they are the biggest. Yeah, without a doubt. They, they've, they've got a nice little empire now, haven't they? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And it, at the end of the day, it's business, isn't it? Yeah. It's all it's all like it's all like making a few home brews in a shed and then giving them to your mates for a couple of quid a litre and them saying, Oh, this is really yeah. good. Can I have can I have another one? I mean that that'll only last for so long, won't it? And then lost, the lust for more yeah. eats away at you and they they're just going they're going up and up. I mean they're not they're not dipping off or anything, it's just I don't know. I mean, there's people out there that don't really want that to happen because it's not crap. Yeah. I, 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 I hate this whole dis, distinguishing what is craft and what's not because it's all compared to like this set list of rules, uh, which yeah. seems to be changed whenever Sam Adams wants to, or the, the oh, Boston yeah, Beer Company yeah. wants to evolve yeah. or devolve. And it's just like. If it's brewed in like a craft-like manner, like it's actually a craft, not just a, like a, a machine. There's actual craft to it. I think that to me is what craft brew is. I mean, you can use yeah. like purifiers, you can use like a, a system, that sort of thing. But as long as you've got heart and soul into it, to me it's a craft beer. It doesn't matter if you're a big company or if you're you know, just a couple of guys who rent out a little warehouse in an in, in industrial state. I think as long as there's craft to it mm. and there's creativity and actual, Passion. yeah, I think that's yeah. what craft. It shouldn't be like how many barrels you produce a year, or you know, whether or not you're owned by a big conglomerate, that sort of thing. So I don't know. It just those because you know, Brewdog, they they are a massive company. They've got massive premises. They've got you know, presence all over the world now in bars and in like America, they've got a brewery there. But I'd still consider them craft beer because it's not just, even though they are yeah. in the supermarkets, it's not just the regular stuff where like millions of gallons are produced in like a few months, that sort of thing. There's actual, yeah, yeah. they're still fought into the beers, but I think they've fallen into that trap, like you're saying, that maybe they've become a bit too successful too quickly yeah i i mean regarding regarding the two guys um james and what's his what's his name i never remember james the Watt. other guy's name i i only remember james yeah james and the other guys. guys yeah that's yeah um they 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 created it yeah they, they nurtured it as far as they could take it without having to sort of open their arms and say guys we need a bit of help i.e bring in the marketing buffoons you know yeah bring, bring bring all these guys in um and then to a certain degree that that love yeah. and the power slips out of their hands doesn't it because yeah. they're having to sort of let somebody else deal with it yeah um and, and, and what these guys are doing now because you know 
a, a business the size of Brewdog now, them them two chaps, they would you wouldn't be able to fucking cope with it. You wouldn't be able to deal with it. Can't it would have folded. Yeah. They've had, they've had to open the, the doors to, to other people that just see it as a job and maybe they haven't got the passion and the yeah. the commitment. Although, although it's portrayed out there that every employer of Brewdog is hundred percent passionate and dedicated. Yeah. Yeah, there's going to be a few in there that don't give a fuck, and it's just a job. Yeah, I mean, look, look at most people who work in the bars. It's, <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's, it's, I've, I've never really had yeah. bad experiences, but I know for a fact that if I was working there, I'd do a much more passionate job about it instead of just like, oh, I'm just paying for, you know, while I'm studying here at university. Which, you yeah. know, fair enough. It's a, yeah. it's a bar job, but then it's, it's a bar job, but it's not just like a, a run of the mill pub this is supposed to be a, like a speciality you know th mm. that yeah. pulls in a different crowd i mean i'm not saying that everyone who works there should be like 100 percent into craft beer that sort of thing but mm. yeah when you put it into context i mean the guys uh, the james and the other guy because i never i never know his name they i don't i don't know what their backgrounds were before they um, is it what? So what is it? I think so. I'm sure. James James Watt. Yeah. No, Dicky. Uh, Dicky is it something? It's something like that. So I know they, they they did a little. I mean, Harry nearly brought it to the bottle share, and it, it was called What Dicky. Ah, oh, okay. And it was like a a hundred mil vial of something. We ne we never got yeah. around to doing it because it was like bloody forty percent ABV. Yeah. So yeah, James Watt and Mr. Dick. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't, I don't. I don't think they were in business before they were brew dog. I think it did stem from the hobby. I mean, I could be completely wrong. I think they they may have been involved in the industry beforehand. I mean, I know there's some sort of link between Thornbridge and um, a brew dog because I think someone from Formbridge went to Brewdog and that's why uh, Jaipur is quite similar to Punk IPA. Okay. I'm not too sure if, of the details that story because someone told me a while ago, I'm not sure how legitimate it was, but I, I don't I'll get, think... I'll get that, I'll get that. Yeah. But, you know, I think, yeah, it, it's just natural, you know. It's not like it took them 20 years to get to where they are now. It took them, you know, much less than half than that. And then all of a sudden they're the biggest, you know, craft brewer in the UK. So it's just natural that they'll obviously have to think, well, you know, we've got to, like, get this decision sorted. Let's hire people to sort this out, that sort of thing. We've got to become a little bit more corporate because it just, the business mm. is just going to fold otherwise. But mm. I don't know, I think they, to me personally, they need to take a, a bit more of a risk. Okay. Because I think they could afford to. And I think they need to really push the boat out a little bit. If that makes yeah. sense. It, it's just, I love Brewdog. I'll always support them. I mean, you know, I've got the t-shirt on. Yeah. They'll always be, if I'm in a city and there's a Brewdog bar, I'm going to go there because it's, to me, it's a little bit more familiar. Because you go to some craft bars and you're a little bit, you know, not intimidated. But you're like, because you know there are a lot of people there who are, you know, they, they might be a little bit arsy, they might be full of themselves, that sort of thing. Whereas Brewdog, it's a little bit more accessible than that. But you still get a good experience. It can go two ways, can't it? Like you say with, with these bars, you can either be sort of uh, frowned upon, yeah, or you or you can be you can be welcomed and and coaxed, you know. Oh, uh, you know, th th this is on tap. Give that give that a bash. I've just had it off myself. It was really nice, you know. Mm -hmm. You like that sort of thing. I, I found that when I went to Norwich, um, there, there were there were very they were very warm and welcoming and knowledgeable 
in the brew dog in Norwich. Yeah. And then literally across the road, there was a, an independent tap house. And they were a bit more prickly and unsure, really. I, I, that's the impression I got. Mm -hmm. Good beers in there. Don't get me wrong, good beers. But the acquaintance of people in there were a bit sort of, I don't know, group. group. Yeah, they were grouped together. Yeah. You could tell yeah. they were packs. Yeah. You know, you uh, come in. You're not a local. You come in. You're looking at. You're looking at. Menu. Yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah, I, I get that all the time. I mean, I remember the first time I went to uh, beer moth in Manchester. Like, it's a really small beer shop uh, in terms of its location. It's a small premises. And I just remember feeling a little bit intimidated going in because it was a new world to me. And, you know, you, you get these irrational things like, what, you know, will they say this if I pick this beer up? Or, you know, what if I pick up too many IPAs? All these stupid things. Because you just hear, you do hear a bad rap about people who like craft beer. And I think, unfortunately, the stereotype about craft beer snobs is there because you do come across a lot of people who are like that which is unfortunate because yeah, there's they, a good they, chunk of people like you and me who it doesn't just, matter what the beer we just appreciate it yeah and that that's thing that i like about brewdog is you know you don't have to get the core range of brewdog there'll always be an interesting guest sale or there'll be interesting bottles in the fridge and it just i feel that comfort when i'm in a brew dog bar as opposed to like a another uh like manchester example there's i've only been to a couple of the actual craft bars there mainly because i'm happy to start off in brew dog get a reliable beer mm. and then have this familiar atmosphere uh, it's just it's just a weird thing because like i was saying that the, some of the people who work in there you know for them it's just a job which is completely fair enough but that also works to the favor of craft beer because you're not gonna feel overwhelmed when you're ordering a beer yeah from some of these people so it, it's a weird thing it's a very strange thing but it's very yeah I, I get what you mean. I get what you mean completely. Yeah. Almost from an outsider's an outsider's point of view, it's almost you know scary. Yeah. You walk I mean, into a normal walking into a normal pub, you wouldn't expect that sort of interest, would you? Walk no. into a normal pub. I'm a I'm a John Smith drinker. I walk into a pub. People just ignore you. You go yeah. to the bar, play at John Smith's, whatever how much it costs. With a craft beer bar, you're not going to get that, are you? No. Um, you're going to almost not 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 want to know information, but but, but want the the bartender to sort of reel off a, a history about that the drink that you just ordered you know almost yeah. and it and that's it's again if you're like out with friends or you're taking out like someone for a drink because i whenever i'm back in the uk i always plan a trip to i've to either manchester or liverpool with my dad because he I, I don't try and force like craft beer or real ale to him because it you know he still appreciates his calling uh one of his favorite beers to have when we're out is like a cause uh, extra light completely fair enough okay uh, to me it just doesn't do anything for me just because of all the shit that they add to it yeah but you know i feel more i know he feels more comfortable and i feel more comfortable if we're in Liverpool or Manchester and we go to like a brew dog bar as opposed to like an independent craft beer place. 
because I don't know, it, it's probably just me, but I just find the Brewdog bars, because they are big, they're part of a big chain, pretty much. Okay. Uh, you don't feel any pressure, really, and it's weird that you should feel pressure by going to a bar. It's weird that yeah. that happens, but it does for me. And, you know, for someone who's not really into that sort of stuff, you know, they're sat there and they see this menu of all these different beers that don't specify what style they are. Because, yeah. pe you know, people who go to these craft beer bars will see, like, a name of a beer and like, oh, no, that's like a, a double IPA. Yeah. You know, yeah. brewed you with her business. You, you should auto automatically know that beer is yeah. an IPA or uh, yeah. a pale ale. Yeah, I get you. I get you. Yeah, so... Yeah. It's why, you know, as much as I criticise Brewdog for some parts, I still have a lot of time for Brewdog as a brand because yeah. they produce some cracking beers. Some beers don't work for me, but, you know, every brewery at the end of the day does that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Look at, like, um, Wild Beer Co. Yeah, they yeah. do beers based on stuff that they can forage, they... Um, mental beers yeah mental. yeah not everybody's gonna love that that's that's a hard sell for a lot of people even if they've been enjoying craft beer for you know before the term craft beer was coined yeah yeah uh, it's i mean you know as well as i do on on social media we there's certain groups we don't oh, need yeah. to name anybody. Really. Yeah. That uh, that uh, um that have that uh, elitist opinion. Yeah. And um, I I can remember w w when I first got into it, and I and I was jumping all over these groups just to sort of you know get into it. I suppose that was one forum that i just shied away from because i just felt i just felt too intimidated oh yeah by the the posts that they were doing and that was the early days i mean I, yeah I'm, I'm still i'm still learning now you know i've got the hell i mean i've only been doing reviews on youtube for just over a year so i'm, I'm still i'm still new to it all i'm still learning but i just i just felt fucking hell what's this all about this is yeah. this is like um a dictatorship almost yeah you know? yeah yeah there's, there's other forums they're really warm and welcoming and you can post if you've got a a boddington's beer can you can take a picture of that and you can post it on their forum it doesn't matter yeah if for it you know <coughs> no because i remember specifically in that group or one of the other because i think there's two main ones like the Mm -hmm, forum and then there's the mm -hmm, yeah, network yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. and um i remember one guy who was relatively new to the group like posted um yeah and it was an actual review of the beer so it wasn't just like a photo with no description and it was like it was a brew dog one it was one that you can get in supermarkets it's one that you can get for like just over a quid in most places one of those sorts of beers and instead of people like being civil and saying oh this post doesn't really go with our rules that sort of could you please like potentially remove it blah 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 even though it didn't really breach the rules from what i saw like people were just like jumping on him like saying oh another fucking supermarket post and it's like yeah what 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 do you yeah. achieve by saying shit like that? Exactly, exactly. You know, yeah, it might potentially go against what the group's about, but at least, you know, if you're going to do it publicly, you know, be civil about it or just exactly. Yeah, I the mean, guy. you know, man, uh, good manners don't cost anything, do they? You know, yeah. it doesn't it don't matter. It doesn't matter what the forum's about. You know, it can be fucking oil paintings. Yeah, it's and, like and you, and you've got a drawing that you bloody four-year-old daughter did it, it, you know there's ways there's ways to sort of tell somebody yeah and and for me that them groups they're just too they're too sort of i don't know just 
Just not for me. Yeah. Not for me. I mean, I thought it was so ridiculous that post. I don't know if you saw it. I think I posted it in a screenshot in the group of um, when the New England IPA was released. And it was about five hours after it's released, and the admin of the group like posted, "Oh, we've reached, like, um, we've reached saturation. Yeah, saturation now." And it's like, yeah, yeah, saturation. yeah. No, I saw it. <laughs> it's only just been fucking released. What do you mean? It's not like a week long bombardment of posts, and it's. Oh uh, yeah. Maybe someone's all got that. something interesting. All that after five fucking hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't. I just don't get it. Yeah, thank you belief. Yeah, thank you belief. But yeah, just stay. I just I just stay away from things like that. You know. Yeah. I mean the group the groups that I do do use, I don't have a problem with. Well, I yeah. haven't had a problem with. Yeah. Anyway, that yeah. haven't sort of sent me a shitty message saying it's you can't put that on here or anything. You know. Yeah. Because I'm I'm quite random with what I do post. One minute it'll be a, a craft beer, and then the next it'll be a supermarket beer. So yeah. that's just how it. That's how it is. Yeah, but it's, <laughs> it's just ridiculous. I mean, the one of the only few times that I've actually interacted with uh, one of their posts, because you know these people like fame themselves on their like sense of humour and the, the banter and stuff. So someone posted, um, I've probably already talked about this in one of our beer tuber hangs out, hangouts, but like posted a, a photo of like a haul that he'd bought and it was like a lot of like Cantillon beers and all of these like white whale beers and mm. uh, I just thought, oh, it would be funny to write, ah, oh, so that's a lot of drain pour then. <laughs> and then I like got a comment straight away and I was like, oh, he's probably... Yeah, having a bit of a laugh, and he just like two words, drain pour? Question mark. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> it. Yeah. The penny I'm just not, not gonna... Yeah. 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 That's what I mean. They're, they're so sort of lost in their world, aren't they? You know, that that comments like that. It's just like, yeah. What? What the fuck did you just say? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that, yeah, that's but, but that, that that that's refreshing to hear, though, yeah. because you you appreciate a good beer as much as me. Yeah. Yet you can find the humour within yourself to sort of have a dig at it almost. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's what it's all about. At the end of the day, it's all about having a, a good time. Yeah, you could take it a bit seriously. I, I I don't you know begrudge people who take it that little bit too far. If it's an important part of their life, fair enough. But yeah. then there's just some people who just are so, they've got so much tunnel vision with this stuff. But it, it's like, it's like a train, a train set enthusiast, isn't it? Some, yeah. kids, some, some kids add, you know, a little fucking circular fucking two foot bloody bit of track with a, a little choo choo train going around it. And then you've got the proper hardcore motherfuckers. Oh yeah. Yeah, the attic <laughs> yeah. is fucking dedicated. <laughs> it's a fucking, it's a world up there. You know what I mean? You've got people everywhere. You've got little cars. You've got buildings that are fucking <laughs> replicated. <laughs> <coughs> you go up there and you say, "Oh, that's a nice train set." And then you get what? This train isn't a set? train set. It's not a toy. This is this is my fucking life. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and that that magnifies free beer sometimes, doesn't it? With certain folk. Oh yeah. But yeah, whatever you know. Broad shoulders. We'll try it. Try anyway. <laughs> yeah. I need to grab another beer, mate. I don't yeah. Know about same you. here. So um, I think I'm not going to take it <coughs> mine now because I think I'll open it up to anybody who wants to join. I think we'll be. Yeah, we might get someone join on. Uh, for anyone who's been watching these reviews, um, thanks so much. As I said, after Smog Rocket, uh, let us know uh, what you think of these beers. Um, I might, because I need to get a new beer as well, when I come back, go over like the rate beer scores and stuff. Um, but if people want to cut this off here, fair enough. Uh, for anyone who's made it this far, thank you very much. And for the four people who are still watching, massively appreciated. Yes. And uh, yeah, so 
if you want to get involved, uh, shoot me a message or shoot a comment, and I'll try and sort out a link. Doesn't matter if you're a friend or if we've never yeah. met you before. Jump on, jump on. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Right. Cheers for watching, guys. And uh, for anyone who's carrying on, so be it. Right. I need a new beer. Yeah. See in a minute, mate. I'll just grab a See beer. See in a minute.
So we've got two viewers. More than welcome to comment, guys. Well, you're more than welcome to join, Craig. I know it's a bit late because I'm a bit slow in reading the comments. But um, yeah, if anybody, if any of the two viewers right now want to join in, just let us know. Sorry about that, mate. I just uh, incorporated a little review there. Nah, no props. Only just got back myself, to be honest. Just, uh, just open this one. Which one's that? Hick, is that? Hook. Longbridge Hawk. Oh, okay. Double IPA. Oh, nice. Yeah, very nice. That looks good. Just popped open a bottle of uh, the Koenig Ludwig Dunkel. Oh, okay. That's a really nice beer. I do like Dunkels. I'm, I'm really getting into that style of, oh, uh, yeah. of beer now. It's got a nice sweetness to them that I really like. It looks nice in that glass. Yeah. Probably one of my favourite glasses, this, even though yeah. some people don't. Is, is that your, um, your Schneiderweiss glass? Yeah. Yeah. I think I think it's good when you've got a, like a, a 500 ml bottle of even like a Hellas or a lager. It, not... That's a showcase glass, that is, isn't it? Yeah. I think a lot of ger German glasses, because of their, their, they're quite tall glasses, aren't they? I, for mm -hmm. me, it, it really does. If you, if you get the pour right, it really does showcase the beer in them oh, sort yeah. of glasses. You could get really nice looking beer from the glass. I mean, I don't really, if I'm reviewing a craft beer, I will tend to like put it in like my Teku glass and that sort of thing, but I'm not really too bothered about glassware for the most part. I mean, if I've served it in something at a bar or something like that, then I won't make an issue of it. But if I'm just mm. in the comfort of my own home, I'm not, not too bothered, really. No. So what have we um, what have we got lined up for the future then for this uh, this little review thing that we've got going? Um, I think so far because we've discussed about potentially doing the pills at Urkel. Yeah. I think that'd be a good one, especially if we can get a few more people in on that one because yeah. of it's, you know, it's a pills at the end of the day. So we might not be able to get too much out of it in terms of a review, but if we've got other viewpoints on it. And um, I don't know, have you reviewed any of the ones that I've sent you yet? I've reviewed your Yankee uh, and Crow. Yeah, yeah, I remember that review. Uh, double Cream IPA. I've reviewed that one. Yeah. I haven't reviewed any of this yet because I, I know you said about maybe doing a collab review with a couple. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't too sure which ones. I, I, I thought the, the Schneider Weiss. Yeah. Right. Eisenbach. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and you mentioned that other one as well. The, uh, the, the Imperial. Imperial Stout. Those are the two ones yeah. that I'd definitely be able to do a live view if you wanted to do a joint review yeah i'll be i'll be up for that mate so but hence not opening them up yet yeah because i, I wasn't too sure I, i'll be up i'll be up for doing something like that with you that'd be great mate that'd be cool so um, i i'll, I'll leave them up them two then for hangout reviews mm -hmm. and i was thinking uh another one that we could do or 
depends on what we can get and maybe some of the sierra nevada stuff because we get yeah. some of that trickling in i can get i can get um i reviewed their nuna not so long ago their pilsner oh yeah um but i can get their i can get most of their, their torpedo that's pretty easy to get yeah. hold of can get hold of that quite easily yeah that, that, i think that, that that would probably work actually because i've seen quite a lot of their sort of core stuff about mm -hmm. i think i can get the um Calavice as well and the stout okay i haven't seen them about yeah. but I, I might be able to get them online i mean i'd, I'd suggest in the pale ale but it seems i don't know why they've not stocked any uh since they had that like out of date stuff so i don't know All if right. they've um like, fell out with the distributors or something like that at the shop mm -hmm. but um i've not seen that around but yeah but i'm sure we can uh discuss it but we definitely got the pills of our cow yeah that, that's nailed on isn't it for sure that yeah one, that, that, that's uh, and the, the, i mean i don't know if you have you reviewed the the voice that the vice diner premium um i might have but i'd, I'd be happy to do a, a live review because that's pretty easy to get hold of yeah i'm, ju I'm just thinking german at the moment um i mean of course there's there's, there's quite a bit of herding about mm -hmm. um there's a bit of vine stefano hanging around yeah pretty easy to get hold of beers my end oh yeah i'm sure you yeah i'm sure we can work our horns because it, 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 that, uh, it's just weird some of the stuff that i get in in the shop and i'm like oh that would be interesting to get other people's ears but i don't know what the distribution or the price will be like in uh, the uk because we get a good amount of uh to all stuff okay we get some of the lervig beers yeah, I can, um, get, I can get my hands on a few of their beers, like their, their Lucky Jack and stuff like that. That's, that's in their yeah. necks. Oh, okay. I think I think we've got the Lucky Jack. Is that is the Lucky Jack the grapefruit one or just the regular? The, I think it's grapefruit one. Ah, uh, uh, this isn't. Oh, what's it called? Not Lucky Jack, but. Yeah, the grapefruit jacks just called grapefruit jack, jack, isn't it? Yeah, Hoppy Joe, grapefruit jack. Uh, yeah, I, I fucking forget, mate. Yeah, I'll have another look because I'll probably be going there again uh, within a few weeks, probably. We could have to take some of these cans and stuff back. Oh, I'll have a little okay. scope round. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's um, we've got we've got a pretty good selection to play with. It's oh, yeah. just it's just getting it all sorted, isn't it? And you know, obviously yeah. getting other people involved as well. I think I think we'll get a few people join on the Pilsner Urkel one though, because that's pretty pretty much every, every yeah. man and his dog can get hold of that. Yeah, I think even some of the guys in the states can get hold of that. Quite yeah, easily. I think. Did, did Rod say he can get hold of that? I think so. I um, can't remember actually. He did talk about it when we were uh, coming up with ideas. So I'm not sure if he'd seen it, but he's not seen it recently. Or it could be one of those sorts of deals. I'm, I'm not too sure. Mm. Yeah, he's, a, he's a good guy, Rod. He's, I like him. Yeah, I enjoy Rod. I enjoy watching his uh, chats. Mm. They're always good to like have on in the background when you're doing something. Yeah, interesting stuff, really. I mean, some of the things they di discuss. I do, I do like that beer whisperer. He makes me laugh. He does. He's very funny. Yeah, it, he don't give 
he don't give a shit, does he? What no, he, he doesn't. He's just, I like I like it though because it's 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 honest. Yeah, you know? I don't I don't know how I'll be able to say, post it now in a chat if I was actually yeah. there. But yeah, I, I enjoy watching him. I enjoyed the uh, like the, the sort of banter he had with Craig. I, I always like oh, yeah, I always like yeah. watching Craig when he's with the American guys. Yeah, Craig don't give a fuck though, does he? He no. just goes with the flow. He was like there till yeah. like six or seven in the morning. And I think, He's hardcore. Yeah, and I think he'd done the like. Um, I think that was um, was that the Saturday when we did our last review or something like that. And uh, he just it might have been yeah. He, we entered the chat and then he stopped. And then I was like watching Rod's chat the next day, and then Craig popped up, and I was like, "What? He was up till then?" <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's proper hardcore. Oh, yeah. That's why I, I, I left that comment about uh, Oliver Reed. I thought, yeah, yeah it just it just suits him. Yeah, he's just fucking hardcore. Bit. Yeah, he don't mess about. Oh okay, yeah, the, the, there's just one. I, I'd love to get. Um, I mean, we had him on for a few minutes on Monday, but I'd love to get Jay. Yeah, to a full hangout with Jay. I, I yeah. like Jay. I, I like him a lot. I enjoy his videos. He's he's a very knowledgeable person. That man is. Oh yeah, I, I mean I know he gets a lot of shit, but yeah, I I, I genuinely like him. I mean he, he he drinks a lot of mainstream American stuff, but he he does appreciate a craft beer when it when he gets one. He's oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've got a lot of time for him. I, I, I do like his reviews, and he's got a bit of sort of. He, he's quite. He's quite relaxed. Yeah. In his reviews, isn't he? Sometimes you know he'll he'll, he'll pull out some food and start munching away, and then talk about the beer, and you know that's I, I think that's yeah. very refreshing. Yeah. Yeah, I just like that idea of he's just having his lunch and while he's having his lunch or breakfast or whenever he's uh, recording this video, he's like, yeah, oh, yeah. I'll do a beer yeah. review. Fair enough. Yeah. It's entertaining to watch. See, uh, t Tony don't post that much anymore now, does he? No, he's slowed down a lot, actually. Um, I sent him uh, the link because I saw he was online on Facebook, so I'm not too sure if he'll be coming in or not. But yeah, but, but he seems I do to like slow down. Yeah, yeah. I've got a lot of time for Tony. He's, he's a good guy. He, again, he, another guy that uh, don't mix his words, you know. But I, I oh, like no. I like that sort of thing. Yeah. You know, you know, yeah. you know, what you can stand with someone like that. Yeah, yeah, I like that because it, it's not confrontational about Tony. I feel like, but he's not afraid to disagree with you. And yeah. I like, and I, I think that's what you need. To, I mean, I mean, the, the, I think the, the very first time he came on to one of our hangouts, and he, and I never forget, he said to me, he said, "I like your reviews, Dean, but I don't always agree with you." Yeah. Which you know, he, he's he's praising me, but on the other hand, he's saying, "Don't get too carried away, boy." You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And I, I like that. I think that's good. Yeah. And, and respect respect to him for that. I mean, I think I think I hit and hit nerve when I did the whole rub your forehead and put it in the the beer to <laughs> over the head yeah. he, he won't let oh, me forget yeah. that no no that's it now mate you, you, yeah well, that, you, you shack, you're shackled with oh, that yeah. now forever that's rob's fault though because <laughs> i've saw, i've seen him do it in a few of his videos all oh, right okay so, so I, i'm not to blame for that one uh but yeah the stuff like this is probably my favorite part of doing the whole beer tube stuff well like a, like like a lot of folk have said though it's like it's almost like being at a pub and you're sitting at, yeah. you're all sitting at a table together yeah and you're just chatting away having a beer all right you're yeah. live on youtube but yeah. you, you tend to sort of forget about that sometimes and just slip into the moment you know yeah because I, I like just seeing people talking on these chats doesn't matter if there's like just two of us or if there could be 10 people i just like yeah 
it's just good yeah. to not even necessarily just to watch it live but when you see like there's a like a two-hour chat video of people who you know and who you like talking to and you might not be involved in it but you can sit you can still sit there and watch the video afterwards and yeah 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 you know, it's, it's good it's good entertainment yeah it's like it could be a, a one hour video it could be like a four hour video you might not mm -hmm. sit through it all in one sitting but it, it's just good and it i like this stuff because it's i'd like to think this stuff that you could just sit back with a beer yourself with yeah it's 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 raw it's not it's natural isn't it there's no sort of there's no airs and graces you no. know we're just we're just I'm super relaxed chilled out chatting away come give a monkeys you know what i mean yeah exactly and it's like it's not like any of us are going to say anything that's going to be you know taking it too yeah. far um, I, think, I don't think we, said, we haven't said anything no. offensive have we no, no, i don't think anyone really has no. from the chats that i've been on and yeah we've had little bits of uh especially with the whole chris peters stuff but <laughs> that, that was just entertaining and um yeah i'm, I'm still sub to him actually i think he's still sub to me yeah i'm sub to him as well i i, I, I watch a couple of his videos now and again um that fucking chain he wears around his that <laughs> cracks me up like this. yeah well, he was doing i think post this group as well he's doing a review of um a beer and um he wanted to like clean his palate so he just got up and left and brought a jar of pickles <laughs> and he just <laughs> took a pickle out ate it and then drank the rest of his beer oh yeah but he didn't yeah. edit any of that out it was just like that'll <laughs> fucking work <laughs> yeah. Yeah, get, I'm, like, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna I'm just gonna get a jar of beetroot, mate. I'll be back. Yeah, <laughs> it just entertained me because you just you could hear him like fumbling around in the kitchen as well. Yeah, but is is that is that him being a dickhead, or is that him just genuinely thinks that is a palate cleanser? I think he just thinks it's genuinely a, he, a palate cleanser. He doesn't. He doesn't give it away, does he? He's, he's very sort of he's a closed book. Yeah. To read him from from looking at his reviews, he's, he's quite a hard person to read. Yeah. I mean, um, I won't. I would never go after him the way some of the uh, Canadian beer tutors have gone after. Him. No, no, no. That, I don't see the point in that. Myself. Yeah. I think that's, a bit, that's a bit cruel, really. Yeah. I mean, to me, he's harmless. Um, I don't really know. I mean. It, even when he was in our chat, I don't think he was out of line. I at think at any point, I think he's just. It was just. It was just. Maybe it was nerves. I mean, some people act different, don't they? But he, he was yeah. a bit. It was a bit too forward for me. But, that, yeah. but like I said, that that could have been nerves. Yeah. So it's it's wrong. It's wrong to sort of demonise him for that. Yeah, definitely. And and, and yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, you do come across some characters. Oh, definitely, definitely. Uh, that's I one mean, of the, the things I love when you you can start picking out like little quirks about people and little habits that they've got in video sometimes. Yeah, and I like the fact that yeah. most people have got their own like style when it comes to actually reviewing beers. Yeah, everybody, everybody has got their own little way of doing it, haven't, haven't they? Yeah. L little sort of... I mean, Harry. Right then, guys. You know, that's his introduction, isn't it? Right then, another beer review. Yep. Just straight in there. Straight in there. He's, he's a good lad, he is, and all Harry. Oh, yeah. I like Harry a lot. Yeah. I, I like everyone who's in our yeah because yeah I, I say little circle but it's not like an inclusive thing that's what i like about it as well because it's not just about getting like all the same people to talk every week that sort of thing it's i like it when uh people who uh, i might be subscribed to but have never spoken to before just happens to be in one of the like group mm. chats that i'm in then you get to know that person yeah uh, I, I like that whole side of it 
it, it's, it's all about sort of just I don't know. It's just, I, I just find it. I find it really friendly and open. You know, yeah. Um, I, I I'll never forget my my first review that I did and the the messages that I got from the likes of Rob, who who I've been watching for years, and and yeah. Adam's craft craft beer channel, who I've been watching for a long while. And they were so warm and welcoming, and and, and Stuart Picard as well, for that matter. They're so sort of, you know, well, welcome welcome into it sort of thing, you know. I hope you enjoyed the experience, and I, I hope you continue to yeah, carry, carry it on, you know. I, and I really, I really, um, I really I found that really nice, you know. It, it, it hit an earth with me. Yeah, it's like they didn't have to get in touch. They could have just no. But no, it's the fact that no. someone's made that little extra step. That's it. That's what. Yeah. That's what it's all about. At the end of the day. Yeah. A, a, a lot of, you know, it was, it was only a, a little sentence, but it meant so much to me. Oh yeah. You know, it me meant a very a great deal to me, and and it still does to this day, really. When I when I do get comments, uh, I mean, you you've said before in the past. You, you don't get any sort of negative shit, really. No, it's all sort of good yeah. stuff. Yeah, and and that's nice. It's it's really reassuring that you're doing something right, and it, it gives you a buzz. Oh yeah, for sure. It's, it's nice. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. But yeah, I think when I first started, well, I like I started then. It was some much more casual thing. So it's like every now and then I'd upload a beer review alongside other videos that I was doing and I think um, Terry yeah. and Stuart were the two two first people to comment on my videos with like Terry was like saying you know interesting review keep up the good work keep doing it yeah so it's like yeah thanks and like Stuart was you know just as helpful and like saying oh I've tried this beer so blah 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 and then give me little pointers on doing videos and stuff, and I was like, "Yeah, it's I'd never received that reaction." Yeah, it, it's before. good though, isn't it? Yeah, you do get a kick out of it. Yeah, uh, Danny Danny McFadden, he sent me um, a personal message saying, "You know, I, I watch. I don't always comment on your videos, but I watch quite a lot of them. Yeah, keep up the good work, fella." And I, I was I was made up by that because he's been about for quite a while. You know, he's he's, he's that sort yep. of wave one of beer reviewers. Um, and I was really made up by that from from a guy like that that's been on YouTube for years to to be watching my videos and leaving good comments and feedback. I I was really I was really chuffed to bits with that. Oh yeah, that, it's the Quality little things guy. like that that make it all that more rewarding. Yeah, I mean, definitely. Uh, we 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 all would love to be in like a position that, like Simon's in, because I think yeah. he is the big, like UK, beer he's, reviewer. He's, yeah, numero uno. Yeah, and he's one of those people who, and I've got no ill will against him. I've got no reason to, but I don't tend to watch a lot of his videos. Because I have that sort of, I have like habits when it comes to watching beer reviews. Sometimes I'll, if I see someone's doing a review of a beer that I'm going to be doing soon, I'll just completely avoid the video, but like yeah. bookmark it or save it, and then come watch, back to it after, it after I finish. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I'm, I'm of that ilk as well on certain, yeah. certain beers. But because I, I don't want it to spoil it, but I'm yeah. intrigued to know what they think about it. Yeah, but yeah. it's like I don't. Need to see every video Simon does. Um, like what he does. Um, I, I, I like sometimes seeing the the comments in his videos. Um, I don't know what was it. What was he doing? Was he doing that Dipper Eleven? And because um, I think he made like a statement, like saying, "Like oh, this is one of the IPAs that I've ever drank, and it's one of the best double IPAs in the world. I've drank loads of them." Yeah, make it a claim like that, and uh, I think Rob actually like commented. You're really sensible, just like really 
one of the best double IPAs you've ever reviewed, and you've, you've reviewed all the good double IPAs, and you know, talking about like the stuff from Tree Arrows and Trillium, that sort of stuff. And uh, it got it was sensible until people started replying to Rob's comment and then giving him shit. And oh. you see stuff like that, and I think that that's the thing though. Simon's so big, he's going to attract some people like that who are just there to, you know, be be a dick in the comments and that yeah. sort of thing. But I I'm subscribed to him. I still watch him. I'd I'd love to yeah. meet him. I've talked to him uh, briefly in a chat once, but mm. I don't have to love everything that anyone does really um no 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 but i i find myself watching more videos from like the guys that i know directly like you craig harry uh jonathan rob those yeah. you know jake the people who i talk to on a regular basis about beer i think i think we're yeah i'm, I'm exactly in the same opinion um I think it's because we're is it, is it because we're we're li little little channels i think so around that like 100 to 200 mark yeah um i mean i i dread i dread well i mean it, it's obvious simon doesn't reply to every comment on his on his videos yeah. he, he just he just can't no i mean he, get, he gets bombarded sometimes um which which is a shame really because a, lo a lot of a lot of good people slip through the net don't they um because you just haven't got the time to reply back which which uh i, I feel for the i feel for the viewers but then simon's just on a it's just it's just a steam train isn't it you know yeah. just more 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 you know he makes no bones about that he, he, he wants to have a, a million fucking subscribers oh, yeah. you know fair, um, fair, play, he's, fair play he's happy to try every new platform and so i do yeah like a live beer unboxing on like instagram then he'll do one on periscope and that sort of thing and i don't know at this point i'm i'm not I really that inclined to do stuff like that because the core of my audience yeah. obviously comes from youtube so it'd be quite pointless for me to do a lot of like a uh, periscope stuff and a lot of instagram and twitter yeah, live things even though i have done that uh, for like that beer jump unboxing but i just thought i'd try yeah. it out see how the whole thing was but i don't think i've got i thought i thought about it i think it, i think for me what's put me off is to go live and then to see no viewers and just be wafting like a dick yeah and not and not you're not actually talking to anyone are you because there's no one watching you yeah because you, you you'll see the view counter go up or down yeah. that that's what puts me off in doing that i i have been encouraged in the past to do it but i i don't know i'm, I'm quite happy with doing youtube i don't think i need to do anything else and, until until further notice yeah but, but just 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 briefly going back to simon I like some of his really old videos. Yeah, I liked his style. Um, a few years. It was years a bit ago. more, a bit more um, real. Yeah, because it, yeah? it, it did feel more like just a guy stood in front of the camera talking exactly. about the bear. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas now, because he's done it for so long and he's had like over three thousand reviews, he's obviously found that rhythm that works he's found and yeah. then he's got a trademark he's got like uh he gets really excited about beer which is fun to see yeah but you kind of the showmanship sometimes does take over a little bit in some of the videos yeah yeah i've i've certain certain beers that i've done in the past though i've had to sort of rein myself in because i thought fuck it out i'm gonna be i'm gonna be sort of screaming at the camera yeah. so, no i mean you're completely honest certain beers have oh, got yeah. me like that inside i thought i thought 
fucking. I mean, um, the, the beer that I sent you, the, the, what, the what I reviewed, um, the Siren. Oh yeah. Ooh. I was like, fucking hell! I couldn't believe it. Yeah. It, I was just from fucking pouring it to drinking it. I was just completely absorbed by it. Certain beers do that for you, and yeah. it, it's hard not to hide your feelings when you when you you press play on that camera and you you're rolling you're doing your you're doing your stuff you know and it, it it's it gets a better you sometimes oh yeah but i mean i don't tend to get that excited in general i don't know why even if it's something that's completely mind-blowing to me i'll to I think, some I think people you, 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 you you respect the beer though. I mean, from what I've seen from, from your reviews, you're you're laid back, but you still you still respect the beer if it deserves yeah. Yeah. respect. You know? And they'll be back like well, I'll be just like silent for like thirty seconds or so because I'm like decided to take another mouthful of the beer because it's just like, yeah. Yeah, there are some points where I'm like, I just want to turn this camera off and just sit back and enjoy this beer. But then yeah. you think, no, but you should be promoting it. <laughs> really enjoy it. Yeah, I agree. It's a funny old thing, isn't it? Doing yeah. beer reviews. Yeah, I, I mean, mean I, I, so, I, I don't know about you, but, but most of my immediate family sort of take the piss out of me you know yeah hi guys welcome back for another bit you know all that oh yeah i get that a lot yeah, like people yeah. mimicking me and yeah yeah i get, I that. get that all the time quite a bit i mean my, even, even my kids do it now as well <laughs> my, my missus my missus will say to my youngest shh, shh, daddy's doing beer with you be quiet <laughs> and she she'll She'll be quiet, but she'll tiptoe about and she'll try and put me off. Oh, I mean, in, yeah. my, in my kitchen, it, it overlooks the, uh, the dining room. So oh, she'll okay. sit at the table yeah. and, she, <laughs> and she'll just stare at me. And I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the camera, one eye's on the camera, and I'm, I'm looking at my door and I'm thinking, you're trying your best to fucking put me off here. <laughs> Sometimes it works. Oh, I, 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 have to, I, have to, I have to, I have to stop, you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, it, it's a funny thing. Yeah, got. I don't know. It's sometimes I like think, what would it be like to watch yourself recording these videos? Like, like the moments just before you press pause, like when you you maybe get like regaining your composure or like thinking out in your head what you want to say yeah. before you get into the beer. Yeah. But there've been like plenty of times where I've finished. The review and i'm just like why didn't i mention this why did Bingo. i say that yeah yes exactly as soon as you stop play as soon as you turn it off you just get bombarded with it could have been this it could have been that it yeah. tasted like that it had yeah. a, a mouthful of this and you're thinking Fuck it out yeah yeah you know, it, it, it does you like well, you'll take like a swig like half an hour later and you're like I didn't taste that when I was there recording. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. The beer, the beer opens up. Yeah. More. Yeah. Funny, funny thing. I mean, uh, have you got any out? You haven't got any outtake videos. Uh, no, because just because I'm recording on my phone, I delete. If I've messed up a video, uh, I'll delete it straight away, so I've got space. But no, I, I've start, I've started banking a few of these sort of like take two sort oh, of yeah. things I, and i've got i've got a little collection that i'm building <laughs> up and I, i'm going to hopefully try and do one i mean i did one i did one the other day i i done a few and um i did a, a, a bottle of bavaria in the fridge you know that holland brewery and macro stuff i thought oh, i'll do a review of this turn got the camera set up turned it on the fucking washing machine's going on in the background. I'm completely oblivious to it. Yeah. It's on a fucking it's on a fucking spin cycle, so it's he's me doing a beer review. 
And then I realised halfway through, I go, hang on a minute, the fucking washing machine's on. What am I doing? <laughs> so I, I thought I'd just, I, I'll keep that. Yeah. Use that. Use that as a part of an outtake video. I'll, I'll group it all together and upload a, yeah. a five-minute video or something like that. You know. I was <laughs> I, I was doing a review the other day. Uh, no, it was, was it yesterday or the day? But I think yeah, it was the other day. And uh, it had been one of those ones where it was almost to the point where you tried to do it so many times, you think I'm not going to do it anymore. But you pull because you're like you've devoted too much time on the the video <clears throat> so like you might as well get a video out of it so i was talking about this beer and the, there was like uh like a little a ginger spice shaker thing in front of me and i didn't even realize that i'd done it but i'd like stopped my review and then before i turned off the camera i think i was saying to myself I just lifted up this little shake thing and said, I would rather stick this up my fucking ass than do another <laughs> review. And then turn the camera off. <laughs> and I was like, I'm keeping that in. That is, I didn't even realise I'd done it. Uh, quality, mate, quality. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. I, I, I like what you put on your, um, oh, I forget what video it was now, but you did the, you, used a bit of the footage of our hangout when we were just oh, laughing yeah. and joking yeah i had to it, it instantly sprung that, to mind oh, while i was recording it proper shit giggles that was wasn't it oh shit, yeah but oh, whole yeah. thing about the lettuce and oh yeah quality quality that was a good a good night that was oh yeah <laughs> yeah I, I can't wait to see the reviews that you did he, uh you harry and craig did yeah yeah it seems it seems like ages now um, the, i'm looking forward to those there'll be there'll be a few messy ones it's, it's got to be oh i bet, I bet yeah. there'll be stuff that'll have happened and you're like oh, i don't remember saying that i don't remember yeah, yeah. it's got to be it's got to yeah. be fucking hell. the amount of beer we've fucking done in the weekend it's unreal <laughs> I think the second night even more so as well when we, when we actually went out. I mean, we were just it fucking it seemed like we were doing reviews every sort of five minutes. <laughs> uh, I love the uh, live video that you posted when you were sat outside of Brewdog. Mm. Yeah. Oh, uh, fucking, yeah, I was fucking k -lied. But I love yeah. stuff like Brewdog. that. Mm. Yeah, that, that's good though. It's good. I really enjoyed that weekend. Actually, it was, oh, it was good. That was awesome. We we we, well, we had some oh fantastic beers. Oh yeah, really really fantastic beers. Uh, he's he's left a comment. Uh, yeah, I was as just well. uh, about to read it then. Um, evening chaps, preparing for a long drive down to Southampton tomorrow. So plenty, and only the one double IPA version twelve for me tonight. Oh, he's, he's off to Bruges, isn't he, Harry? Yes, he is. And I'm sure have, he's going to have a good one, mate. Yeah, I'm sure he's going to have a good one. Some of the stuff you're going to be able to pick up. The oh. pennies compared to what we pay back. Yeah. Yeah. Bring the fucking whole lot back with you, mate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God, you could probably make yourself a little fortune just every now and then yeah. going on a little road trip picking up these beers coming back and then pretty much paying for the whole trip and a little bit of change mm. it's crazy yeah it's, it's, it's literally that like, it's like just over a euro isn't it for some of these beers yeah and you're paying like and yeah over, over here they're like four or five pound a bottle yeah in like a 250 centiliter bottle like... yeah 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 Fair play to you, mate. I hope you have a good one. Yeah, have a good one, Harry. Okay, I think I well, think... we've still got we still got three people watching. Yeah. Anyone to leave, leave a, a comment, comment, guys? Yeah. Leave a comment. Let, let us know what you want. Any thoughts, opinions on the beers we've talked about, or any uh, topics we've. <clears throat> Oh, 
Yeah, Tony was online on Facebook, but I'm not too sure okay. what he's up to. Yeah. Because normally, normally he sort of jumps on or... or yeah. Yeah. And I know Craig said that it, he might be popping on later if we're still online. Okay. He's gonna I, know, I, know, I, I think Rod, is he actually doing a, a beer fest in season Yeah, he's at a beer fest now. I think he's yeah. uploaded a couple of videos already to oh, YouTube right. from it, like the uh, like just before it started and stuff. Yeah, I think, yeah, we've got a, a festival coming up in May. The uh, City's Beer Festival, which was, uh, last year was apparently the biggest uh, craft beer festival in Germany. And it's just like a, a small town, small city, and they the, the biggest attendance. Oh, it's just crazy. There's, there's just one bottle shop. And the breweries in the city are all traditional, with only one of them branching out to craft beer. But they managed to get like over 18,000 people to come over. Cool. But yeah, uh, I'm not sure if I'll be able to make it to uh, Hop City in April. All right, okay. Which is a shame because I was really looking forward to that. <clears throat> I was sure you bought a ticket, didn't you? Yeah, I did. So hopefully I can potentially get a refund or potentially like send it on to someone else and yeah, for like a tenner or something like that, get a little bit of the money back. But I think it was a little bit optimistic, but I thought you know, it's it's easily resolved if you just buy the, the ticket to yeah. the event. I mean, like, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure of them tickets now. They were about twelve quid, weren't they? Yeah, twelve quid. Yeah, I've, I've, I've got my ticket, but I'm, I'm about fifty-fifty at the moment. I'm not too sure if I can actually commit to it now. I, I know it's, it's not exactly. When is it? April. Yeah, mid-April. I think seventeenth. Mid-April. So, so a bit of a while off, but I'm. I'm a bit skeptical about it at the moment now because of work commitments and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, so I mean, I, I if I can go, but I don't know at the moment. It's up in the air. Yeah. But I, I'm hoping at least a couple of times I'll be able to meet up with a few of you guys at some point because I'm sure there'll be other opportunities. Yeah, I mean, I I love I love to meet up with you and have a have a beer a lot a live beer with you. Oh yeah. I mean, I don't. I've got. I've got family in Stafford, so it's not a million miles away from Manchester. Yeah. And I know you go to Manchester quite a bit, don't you? So. Uh yeah, I try and go as many times as I can. That's not, you know, that's that's doable yeah. for my for my end. So. Well, it's it's got enough there for a good like craft day out because there's like a bottle shop and stuff. Well, there's a few bottle shops now, I think. So. And a couple of new bars, and of course, it'd be great if we could go to like Cloudwater or something on Saturday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can we can sort some out. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, 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 def it's definitely doable. Yeah, I, I want something to happen. Just just have a a real drink. Oh, well, I mean, yeah. uh, all right, we have we have drinks on here, but you know yeah. what I mean in, yeah. in person. Yeah, Ma maybe do some live stuff, or I don't know. Yeah, something we can work somewhere out. Yeah, I want, I want something like that. Anyway, I've got to go get another beer, so I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm gonna go and get another beer as well.
What up, everybody? What up, bro? Hey, up, Rod. How's the uh, festival? I'm fucking buzz right now. We're over at the Beer Fest in Cincinnati, and we're, going, we're waiting for food right now. So I'm sitting with my buddy from work. But I am so fucking happy right now. I saw my fight. I thought I'd jump in for a second. I have been drinking a lot of beers today. No. <laughs> Yeah, just skimful, mate. <laughs> I can't hear shit right now because it's so fucking loud in here. I just <laughs> the fuck up so I can hear you guys, but I really can't hear you right now. He's <laughs> laughing his ass off like <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, fellas? Uh, not much. Just off the casual. It's the rod. <laughs> I have drinking so many beers today that I couldn't really calculate all of the beers I was drinking. <laughs> it's the way it's got to be done. I started off a lot with these at 12.2% on one of their chocolate stouts. It kind of worked my way around from there. So I just wanted to jump in and say hi and we're waiting for some food to be served right now because we're all buzzed right now. Well, I'm not surprised. I can't hear you guys though. <laughs> so what's, uh, what's been the highlight so far, Rod? <laughs> so this is my buddy this is Peter and this is Dean over in the UK and we all talk about different beers and somehow I reversed the camera on myself but I'm here and that's Phil and that's Kirk and this is Gary and we're all fucking buzzed right now lots of it Ross so, I'm not home yet. If I get home later, I might jump on if you guys are still on there. But yeah. uh, we could well be. We have so many good beers tonight. <laughs> I can't hear anybody at all. Well, we're just in awe, Rod. I feel like I need a headset for the whole you guys. Yeah, you, what what are you what are you drinking at the moment then, Rod? I can't. I can't. I feel. I feel bad. <laughs> though, like I can't hear anymore. <laughs> oh, you call me Mexican now? Am I Mexican? Am I a Mexican? I didn't want to say burger, right? <laughs> <laughs> so here's a, here's our waitress as well. I put our waitress. <laughs> I think I can get the waitress. Maybe not. Not to say. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to jump in and say cheers to you guys. I know you got another show, but cheers. I'm pretty uh, buzzed right cheers, now. I'm going to stuff later. But Beer Fest is pretty good today. Oh, it sounds good. My iPhone speaker sucks. <laughs> I've, ne I've never seen Rod pissed. No, if not, this is uh, this a world <laughs> first <laughs> on the Clueless Drinker channel. No, I just thought of the New England powder. Oh. Yeah. 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 Thank you. We tried to order there. I mean, to reorder. You probably have four drunks in the bar trying to order food. Sorry, my life. I don't even know what they're doing. They're doing some football thing right now. You guys are like, why the fuck is Roddy timing in right now? It's so fucking drunk. I'm like, <laughs> no, it's all good, my friend. It's all good. Yeah. I'm going to need a broth. Okay. <laughs> 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 yeah, we're we're having a we're having a blast. I drank Lagunitas chocolate stout, which is fucking awesome, one point two percent. I drank uh, a bunch of other beers out. Tap, it's uploaded with a lot of stuff, but there was a lot of good beers tonight. I'll just send you guys stuff. I didn't do any reviews 
we come up with so many beers so quickly, but if you get a chance, Beer Festival is the place to go for sure. All the beers on tap. Here, are my buddy Gary. It's all the good stuff we've had as well. Although I can't get the camera to fully work for some reason. I, <laughs> I wonder why that is. <laughs> we had a lot of good beers. We enjoyed a lot of good stuff. Um, so we were with Sam Adams, Rogue, and then we went around and other stuff, triple digit. Other stuff. I finally had the Ed Twerpen from Guinness. Fucking phenomenal. If you guys get the chance to try that, definitely try that one. I don't think we get that in the UK, actually. Which, which beer is that? It's the Ant- Antwerp and Stout. Like, I, oh, yeah. uh, I, I don't think you can hear us at all yeah. right now. But I want to say what's going on because it's all Peter's invite and everything. But are you guys doing a show tomorrow? Uh, I'm not too sure. No, I don't think. Well, I don't think so. I do it tomorrow. I can do a recap or something. From what I remember, I can't guarantee I remember everything. But <laughs> <laughs> what I can remember, I'd be more than happy to explain. <laughs> but yeah, so we're uh, I'm actually drinking a Unibrew right now. So good beer from Unibrew and the Lafinda Bonds. Good beer. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna just sleep a little bit of extra hours tomorrow. <laughs> well, I wanted to jump in and say what's going on and hello and everything. And yeah, we're getting hammered right now. Total respect yeah. across the pond. Glad to hear it, my friend. Cheers, brothers. Cheers. Love the beer. Cheers. Cheers, Rod. I'm enjoying the beer. We'll talk soon. I'm watching, but I can't hear it fully. But <laughs> I just know whether they're drinking with you in spirit. My buddy, my oh, yeah, you're here, Ross. You're here. here. Big soccer fan. He watches a lot of the uh, <laughs> soccer or the football for the team. No, so no worries. Yeah, so he's big and watching a lot of soccer from over there. So. I'm a Bayern Munich fan. Right Not too I'm bad. Munich, yeah. <laughs> Dean is laughing his ass off. <laughs> 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 Yeah, just a little. Yeah. Total, total just, just respect. A tiny bit. Total respect to um, you, mate. I can't. I didn't hear that. <laughs> 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 Never. Oh, man. I might jump on later if you guys are still on. I'll probably be home like an hour or so. So if you guys are still on, I'll be at the house so I can hear a little bit better, but. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers Rod. And uh, I love you, beer <laughs> brothers. Good job. What's up, beer bro? Cheers, mate. Cheers. Cheers. Have a good one, Rod. <laughs> oh, dear me. What a legend. <laughs> yeah. I, I, thought, I think that should be a segment in everybody's oh, chats. Definitely. And now we're going to cut to our beer yeah. drinker on the scene, Rod J. <laughs> Completely oh. fucking smashed. I love stuff like that. That's quality. Right, I'm going to uh, move on to step, stepping back a bit. Ringwood. Old Fumper. Which one? Is that the pale or the... Uh, I don't know, actually, mate. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I've never had it before. Full of flavour, craft ale. Oh, okay. Uh, I've had a couple of the Ringwood stuff. I think they're owned by Marston's, aren't they? Yeah, I've had the the Boom Do- Boom Doggle, is it? Boom Doggle? Boom Doggle, I think that's the... the... I, I, I really like the Boom Doggle, actually. Yeah. I'll give it a try, see what we get. Sounds good. I'm just on this... Uh, from a city near me. Um, just stumbled across it. 
can you uh, do a review of them? The um, I think I uploaded one uh, the other day, which was the... Was it the Pilsner that they do? Yeah, it was a pill. Yeah, yeah. But this is the Super Lager, which when you hear Super Lager, you think of like, you know, these shitty, like, 10% lagers. But it's uh, it's a 5.3% lager, and it seems to be uh, quite hopped. But it, does, it doesn't just taste like a pale ale, which pisses me off when they do hop lagers and they taste like fucking pale yeah. ales. Yeah. I think yeah. Like, you, you, you touched on that on your review of that, didn't you? Yeah, I think I, I mention that every time I try a hop lager, actually, because it just winds me up. No, I, I completely get what you mean yeah. on that. Yeah. You're, you're not expecting what you're getting. And then like, what you get, you're like, hang on a minute, what, what's this all about? Yeah. It's like, if I'm get if I'm making that choice to buy a hoppy lager, it's because I want to have a lager that's got a little bit of a hop character. I don't want something that's completely different to what a lager should be. Oh, this and... is fucking horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Can you work out what style of beer it is from? It's like being a shit beer. It's like, tastes like socks. Oh, sounds sweaty, lovely. Sweaty socks. Well, to go with your um, oh, fucking hell, <laughs> to go with your thoughts on the beer, uh, received a strange comment. From someone called X Black M M R X X. Yeah. And the comment is just nice and simple. Dick heat. Dick heat. Which yeah. Okay. May or may not be a misspelling of dickhead. I'm not too sure. You could. I, I reckon. You never I'm, can tell. Ninety-five percent probably saying dickhead on that. Um, yeah. Fair, fair dues. Whatever. Yeah, if you want to elliborate, you're more yeah, than welcome just, yeah, to. Yeah, or fuck off. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If you don't like it, fuck off. Yeah, it was like when I did that, um, the, the beer gym unboxing, which I did on Twitter. As soon as I started, I got, got these like dickheadish comments. <laughs> it's, uh. it's, it's quite amusing, actually. And I'm like, I. I Dissenting in myself. No, you. If I stumble across, if I stumble across something that I don't want to be watching, or I haven't been looking for, and then I watch the first twenty seconds of it, I'm not. I can't see the sense in leaving a comment to show my distaste to it. Exactly. I just come away from yeah, it. Yeah, it's. I, I don't. I don't. Don't get it. I just. I turn it off and move on. It's. But some people just can't do that. It seems it's it's weird. Yeah, well, it's just, people get a kick out of it, don't they? Yeah, yeah. If you've you've got to get your kick somewhere, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, you're oh. more you're more than welcome to try and get them from me, but I just if you're a dickhead, yeah. you're a dickhead. It doesn't bother me. Yeah. I don't yeah. Sleep over it. No, nah, definitely not. Yeah. Definitely not. Oh, this beer is terrible. <laughs> Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's surprising because I really do enjoy Forty Nine er from uh, no, not Forty Nine. That's the one you're drinking now, is it? Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, Forty Nine is another beer that we do. Oh, Clumper, this one is. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's try it. Um, yeah, Boom Boom Doggle and Forty Nine er. That they're not too bad, but for this one, it's a bit. It just tastes fucking horrible. Yeah. It, that, I remember I was in the, the Lake District and uh, one of the pubs, because it was owned by Marston's, had a few. And they had one called the Triple. And I was like, oh, nice. This must be a, like a, a take on the Belgian Triple. And it was a bitter. It was just like a an old-fashioned bitter. And I was like, <laughs> where the fuck's the Triple in there? Well, yeah. that's what's triple about this and it was weird I, I, 
it's got Marston's written on it, as you know. Yeah. It's, it's part of the Marston's umbrella. Yeah. Why why are they using the words craft ales? I have no idea. I think that phrase around way too much. But I don't know who they, they think they're fooling because people who like craft beer will not buy that because they know. No. I mean, my, my my old dear got me this for my birthday in, in like a, a, a box set sort of thing, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's it's not good at all. It's, it it's horrible. It, it's literally it tastes like socks, sweaty <laughs> socks. <laughs> oh, the mouth feels. The mouth feel is. It's it's watery. Yeah. Oh no. Fucking hell. God. <laughs> Oh, I've not had an awful beer in such a long time, thank God. Yeah, I'm not talking about fucking foul. Put your date on it. August 17. Yeah. Come on. Chapman's. I think yeah. Harry, Harry, Harry's commenting again. Oh, bumper. Jeez. <laughs> oh, there you go. If Harry yeah. says it's bad. Just watch it and drink in front of everyone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna get another beer because I'm not I'm not gonna continue with that one. No, no. Stand up against it, Dean. Like the power. Oh, then we've gone down to one viewer again. We're on all time high with five. Don't know, and maybe four people found the old bumper comment offensive. Yeah. Those damn camera types. It's better than those UK CBF types. I'm not salty, by the way. So what have you got instead? Hit me chest. Nice. I think I'm I missed out on that one. I'm going to drink it out of the fucking can. Go for it. Isn't it um, Heady Topper that you're supposed to drink out of the can as well? Yeah. I bought this. Again, I was I was sucked into that sort of get it now, get it quick sort of thing. And I bought this ages ago when it was released. There was the Waniac and the Hypnotist and yeah. they were launched at the same time. Probably a, probably a good month ago now. And... I did. I did the Waniac. I reviewed that, and I was I was impressed with that. It was good. It's when I was in Birmingham with with Harry, we, I I got a board can of this yeah. in the tilt, and it's got it's got a real sour edge to it. It's an IPA, ah, okay. but it's, it's got a yep. real sour back end to it, and I wasn't really impressed by it. Hence, opening it now, you know. Yeah. Didn't just just didn't really sort of do anything for me, and it's not really doing a lot for me now. I mean, it's it, it's all right, it's okay, but nothing amazing. Yeah, I missed out on that one. Isn't that the one that they've is? Isn't that the one they've done a a couple of batches of now? Yeah, they, I think they've changed it around now. They've took that yeah. sourness out of it. Oh, okay. It's um yeah, it's definitely in it, in it on this can. Put it in glass, see what we get. Was that intentional 
for it to be sour? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, it looks the part. But yeah, I've, I've heard. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's all right, yeah. but it's, it's nothing, nothing amazing. Yeah, I think um, didn't Craig talk about it on his? He talked about it on another video, but he sort of like re-reviewed it. Yeah, at the end of yeah. the video. So, so that's the the beer. Yeah, I'm, I'm really uh, liking this direction that Magic Rock are going now. Ah. With these tall boys. Again, again though, it's it's just, I don't know, it's just keeping up with it all, isn't it? That's the thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The the Big Dipper, though, was just... Yeah, you, the, you reviewed oh, that, didn't I you? love that beer. Yeah, I missed out on that one. It, it's what's this gluten free beer that they brought out then? Oh, uh, I'm not too sure. It, it doesn't tickle me at all. I'm not too upset that I miss out on that one. Yeah. I think I think Rob, he did a periscope of it a couple of days ago. Oh, okay. Um, I forget what it's called now. Yeah, it's just, I don't know, just keep up with it. Yeah. I mean, there's there's too much going on even in Germany for me to even start worrying about stuff that's going back on in the British scene. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if, if you did it as a full-time job, you'd, you'd never be out of work. Oh, no, no. You, you, <laughs> you'd always have subjects. It's just, it's just constant, almost... It's almost daily, isn't it, where you've got a new release? Oh, yeah. I mean, you've always got announcements. You've always got like news to talk about, that sort of stuff. Mm. It's just amazing how much is going on. And, yeah, it'd, it'd be awesome if you could literally get a can or a bottle of every new thing that comes out. But You'd be very popular on YouTube, wouldn't you? Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you could literally upload on a daily basis new beers, you'd be like, you definitely like have central. Yeah. yeah, definitely. I watched your um, your Ballish point. Oh, yeah. Um, I think I think you were you were, you were fair with it. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed it, but I think because I've drank a few more, like I was saying in the video, if I remember properly, um, I've drank a few more beers that have actually had grapefruit put in them. Yeah, I I, yeah. I did leave a comment on that video. Um, okay, I think I'm a little bit behind on my comments. No, that's all right. Um, yeah, I I think I mean. Just re reiterating what I said on the comment, <clears throat> it's it's had a bit of a journey that beer has. Oh, and I yeah. think it, it's it's not the freshest of beers. Yeah. I, I think if you were to, for instance, say say you were in San Diego and you were there, tap house, a a, a, a fresh oh, yeah. half of that would be excellent. Yeah. Phenomenal. Oh yeah, that would be absolutely wonderful. I, we we definitely <coughs> in, in Europe, I think we we definitely haven't got the best, the freshest American beers. Yeah, I mean, even on the freshness scale, I didn't really taste any um, like it deteriorated. I mean, it probably had. I mean, it's got to have. Yeah, yeah, by, I, I got a lot more from my one. Yeah. The one that I did, it was it was quite. It, I got grapefruit, and I got an IPA sort of feel for it, but I I couldn't help but get the the multi edge yeah. to it. Yeah. And for me, that that's a, a deteriorated IPA because it really mm -hmm. shouldn't have that in there, should it? Yeah, yeah. But I think uh, one of the biggest fears that I was disappointed with was. Um, 
when I bought a can of the Oscar Blues Death by Coconut. Because okay. I was expecting this, not like a creamy mouthfeel, but I was expecting like this nice body because they've put like a coconut in there, which I think would help sort of um, make that body a little bit more creamier. But yeah. when I tried it, you've got like the faintest hint of coconut. And I was expect. I mean, it's probably down to myself, really. I'm not sure if the video's already gone live or because I've I went crazy and uploaded like a couple of months in advance, just so I didn't have to. It was one of those bullshit things where it's like if I upload enough videos in advance, it means I don't have that pressure of reviewing new beers. But then you end up buying a few new beers. So it's completely pointless. So you've got like months, a couple of months worth of videos going live, but I'm not sure if it's gone live yet. But I wasn't. It was a high quality beer. It was a good beer. But for the price that I paid for it, and compared to other beers that I've had with coconut in them, I was a little bit disappointed by it, especially since a lot of people rant and rave about how much coconut you pick up from it mm. yeah i mean you'd like to think with with a flavor like coconut it would be easily to detect in a beer yeah it's like if I'm, if you call your beer death by coconut I, you expect yeah, it i almost expect to be potentially overwhelmed by the coconut yeah yeah exactly I, I did the the Maui. They did a, um, I think it was called coconut, um, uh, a coconut porter, and it was it was all right, but it was nothing sort of. Again, coconut was hardly sort of detectable yeah. in it, which you feel slightly empty from it from the experience. Yeah, I it. You, you buy with your eyes, don't you? you? You see that on the cat and you think, I, I quite like coconut. Yeah, coconut four, I'll, I'll give that a bash. And then you, you come to drink it and you, you're slightly disappointed with it because it hasn't yeah. delivered what it says on the tin. Yeah, it was just... A lot of, be lot of beers out there like that though, isn't there? Yeah. And it was like, because I bought that from Beer Moth in Manchester. And I bought Big Dipper at the same time, and I paid more for the Death by Coconut than I did for the Dipper. And I was like, I could have easily picked up two local, like Manchester mm -hmm. craft beers for what I paid for that, and probably got a much more um, fulfilling experience. I think I think sometimes you feel like you're being policed. Yeah. When when you when you almost gamble on these beers that have been sent over from america it's all hype and yeah you get it and you and you feel like fuck it, hang on a minute I've, I've just spent i know six pound on this can it, it could get lost with all the other running the mill stuff you know yeah yeah you can like you can list like five ten beers that are similar to it that you could happily pick over that one mm. But it, it's just like the look of the draw, really, isn't it, with this stuff? Yeah. I mean... Yeah. I mean, yeah, definitely. I mean, one beer that I would recommend to everybody to try and pick up a bottle, and I think it's still available on Beer Jump for, like, less than €5, Euros, is the Yeti Imperial Stout by The Great Divide. Yeah, I, I second that. I second that. That was beautiful. That was... Phenomenal. One of the best, just regular imperial stouts that I've mm. ever had. I, I, I got um, I got a bottle of that from the Brewdog online store, and it was phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, around the around the ten percent mark, isn't it? Yeah. It was so smooth. But, oh yeah, full on, full on flavour. How alcohol was. Hidden remarkably on it. Yeah. Beautiful chocolate sort of characteristics to it. 
I, I think I paid about um, five pound a bottle, something like that. Uh, I'd, I'd say that's worth the money, considering. Yeah, you, you could get the you could get the three thirty mil bottle, or you could buy a bomber for eight pounds or nine quid. Yeah, pound a bottle. Yeah, good stuff. Great yeah. buy. They make they make some excellent beers. Oh yeah, I'd, I'd love to. I mean, I was going to pick one up at Brewdog, but I was a little bit worse for work, and it was like a few hours before even the end of when we stopped drinking. So I'd, I'd just be carrying around this bottle of uh, the bourbon barrel aged version of it. Oh, and it was like according to Craig, uh, I think it was it would have worked out to have been eighteen quid. And um, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm regretting that I didn't pick it up, but I'm quite thankful because that would have probably ended up on the the streets of what? Liverpool just smashed. What's the most you spent on one bottle of beer? One bottle of beer. Um, it's probably, and it's not a lot really, but I think eight euros. Okay. And, and that was for the Lorelei from Omnipolo. Okay. But there have been. That's not bad. Yeah. And especially for that beer, that that was a beautiful beer as well. I'm so happy I got to try that. I think for me it would be the Rogue Double Chocolate Stout. Oh yeah, you weren't a fan of that one, were you? No, no. I I paid. I think it was about thirteen quid a bottle. Yeah. Seven seven hundred and fifty ml bottle. And it was like a normal run of the mill chocolate stout. Yeah. The only, the, only, the only difference being the snazzy looking bottle. Yeah. But I think I think Rogan Masters are doing that though. For this uh, this voodoo. Oh, donut donut stuff, yeah. It's it's all it's all a bit a bit gimmicky for me. Yeah. I've, I've toyed with the idea of getting another bottle of it, but then I thought, well, I did the, the double chocolate stout and I wasn't really impressed with it. Nah, fuck it, it's not for me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know, some of the the, the big bottles that they do, like uh, the Sriracha yeah. stouts, I think it's like, I enjoy Sriracha, but it just seems like it's this thin and packed full of heat beer that's almost undrinkable. So it's like, yeah. who, who who wants that? But a, a, a lot of people have said though, it, they it's a bit of a gimmicky brewery. Yeah, I think so. I mean, they seem to do a lot of good stuff. I like the fact that they grow a lot of their own ingredients and stuff, and they do. I, I've tried the hazelnut porter, I think it was, or hazelnut hazelnut brown ale, I think it was, uh, and that was nice. You you got like the nutty aspects, mm. but I, I don't know these big bottles that they do. I've gotten really no interest in just from a lot of people saying that it's just not worth it at all. Hmm. Yeah, it's a bit. I think I think you you, you see a really, admittedly a well presented bottle of beer. It's oh yeah. Really co colourful and jazzy, but I think the contents just fall short for me. Um, quite a few of their beers. I mean, even even some of their core stuff. I mean, uh, I, I, have you ever tried Dead Guy Ale? No. I feel to, that, to me that was just a, a multi mess. Yeah. Didn't 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 like that at all. Um, I know they've got a couple of of the rogue stuff in the uh, Beretta. They've got the um, the Pendleton Pale Ale, which okay. comes in a can, which I'm interested by because it's an American yeah. can. And um, I've had the 
hazelnut brown ale, which was it was nice. wasn't really anything to mm. write home about, but it was a solid beer. Mm. And I think uh, the mocha porter. Ah, uh, yeah, I've, I've I've toyed with the idea of getting that. Yeah, I I think I I opted out for the, the yellow snow. I, I ended up buying a bottle of that. I didn't review it. I just just bought it and drunk yeah. it. Yeah, it's all right, you know, forgettable. Yeah. I think with a brewery like Rogue, it's only worth really buying stuff if you're in America. Yeah. And it's you're in that local vicinity <laughs> where it's not too expensive. It's I, like I, um I think that that pretty much applies to every sort of American brewery. That distributes to the UK or Europe. Yeah. I mean, I posted. You're never going to quite get the best beer, are you, from them? No, no. I mean, I posted a photo to the group of. Um, uh, I think it's. I can't remember who posted the original photo, um, but I, I, I took it and posted it in the group. And I think people thought it was a photo from Germany, but I think it was from um, Belgium. And uh, there was a shop that had managed to get hold of quite a few of the Trillium beers in the uh, like the the tall boy cans. And at first, I was like, "Oh, quite quite intrigued," because these guys might have like an online shop that I could pick up a a bottle of beer from. But then I looked at the price, and it was eighteen euros per can, nice. and it's. Daylight robbery, that is. Yeah, yeah. It's. Well, I, I bet people. I bet people paid it though. Oh god, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, I know um, one of the Alchemist beers was made available in Europe through um, the McKellar shop, but God knows how much they were charging for that as well. Yeah. It's just fucking. They, they, they play on the fucking popularity of it, though, don't they? Though? Oh god, it. yeah. You alright, Craig? Hi, Craig. Oh. Can you hear me, alright? Yeah, yeah fine. fine. Mate. I'm not. I'm not gonna try not to shout like I normally do. So I'm <laughs> on my mobile. So I keep it down. <laughs> <laughs> what are you drinking, Craig? Um, punk IPA can. Ah, uh, you went to um. Thanks, please. Yeah, just, just, just like wrote of it's all a message, so yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, so oh, oh. Just go upstairs out of the way. Have a quiet one. Nice. I'm just uh, about to uh no, can't even talk. Uh the Pandur 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 and Visa which is one that I reviewed like when they sent me a few of their beers. But I've not I've not tried it since. It, it's one of those weird things where you get sent a beer and you try it once and then you like yeah. it, but you don't end up picking it up again for a long yeah. time. So I'm just getting my stuff, doing it handheld on my phone tripod. <clears throat> just bought some mini... Um, Cornish pasties as well. Very oh, nice. Yeah. Sort me yeah, out. you sorted that, Craig. Off. Sounds good to off me. The, after yesterday, it's just nice just to chill out. Yeah. So. I was uh, I was central London treating you. Yes, okay. Yeah. Lucky to get hold of that beer yesterday. It was quite. Didn't think I'd ever get to try it. So. Yeah. Was that the birthday beer? Uh, yeah. Yeah, on on uh, draft. Nice. Where, where, where was that, Craig? Um, Ball shop in Bermondsey. Oh, yeah. That's one of ten places allegedly, but there's more than that. Yeah, it's got to be on there. Yeah. It's got to be. Did you uh, yeah. pick up any bottles of the uh, Brewdog Cloudwater New England? No, I just tried it in the bar. Oh, okay. I done a review in the bar in Camden. 
Oh, nice. Before I went to Bermondsey. So I've done that. And... Ah. Yeah. It's on that style, I guess. Never having had anything from, you know, Boston area. It's difficult to say, oh, yeah, this is, unless you've had them before, you can't yeah. compare, really. But, but yeah, it's just chilling out now. Cool. Nice one. <laughs> Trying to keep away from everything. <laughs> Hunting for peace and quiet, more like. But there you go. <laughs> I know you're feeling. I know you're feeling. It's kind oh, of yeah. difficult. <laughs> so, yeah, I've got a, I popped into um, Brewing by Numbers after. I've got one of their Craftmaster glasses. Oh, nice. As well. Yeah. Had a few beers there, yeah. but there was, you, pay, you pay for your glass when you buy the beer. Yeah, I, I, I had one of those glasses fall into my bag when I was at Leeds last year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't know how yeah, it got. But you actually pay, you, no. you pay for the beer and the glass at the same time, so that if you want it, then ah, you can okay. take it. Ah, okay, so it's like a see. deposit sort oh, of thing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there was, there was about five glasses on the table I got to. They all left. So I, I've got three glasses. <laughs> yeah, so I need one up here. I need to one get. I need to get new glassware. It's the first Craftmaster glass I've ever had. So believe it or not. Yeah, because you're you're on the uh, you've got a Teku, haven't you? I've got a few Tekus. I've got a, a brew dog and a uh, bottle shop. You got a they bottle shop, me. bottle shop. Yeah, bottle shop Teku. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that, they gave me. One of them in Margate just before yeah. Christmas. I went over there, got a few beers, and they yes, go. He goes, here you go. Have one of them. I'm like, that'll do. Thanks. Yeah. My cool. tech is just one of these, like one of the mill. I love craft beer, sort of deals. Yeah. I've got the, a brew dog tech back in England, and um, a glass that I wish I'd have brought with me was the uh, beer moth snifter glass that I've got. Which is probably my favourite glass, and it's you know, yeah, back in England. This is my favourite glass, the, the oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I fucking love that glass. It's love great. It. I generally use like steam glasses all the time, just yeah, what everyone does. Yeah, I was gonna buy um, one of those uh, Spiegelau uh, glasses from Beretta because they've got like their own branded glasses now. I mean, that they they charge. For six six euros for a Teku glass, which which I bought this one from, and I thought it's a little bit expensive for a Teku glass when yeah. you can go to some places get them for three quid. But I noticed they had a uh, one of those like they had branded Beretta Spiegel uh, IPA glasses, sort of like the one that you've got there, Craig. And I was like, oh, how much are you selling that for? Oh, uh, we've got to sell them for seven euros. I was like, okay, yeah, I'm not going to buy that then. That's, that's <laughs> pricey. Yeah. It's only glass. Yeah. It's only glass that'll break like within a few months. Oh, they're terrible. I've got a chip in this one already, but I look at it. <laughs> like a tiny kind of... Like, I, I don't think I've done it either, but no one's owning up, owning up to it. Because I heard it this morning go... And then someone said Savatia, oh, I'm like, someone smashed one of my glasses already. <laughs> it's my fault for leaving it down in the way with people were. Yeah. So it's my fault, really. Yeah. It's, it, and it, if it's not, it will be my fault anyway. So exactly. It's kind of one of those. That's how it goes. Which, which is, I don't mind being wrong, because at the moment, I it's 100%. <laughs> so... You know, you know how it is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, I was I was telling Ian before we came online. I, I won thirty quid's worth of credit for any beer website. So I'm like, do I buy loads of beer, or do I buy like potentially a a white whale beer, or do I buy myself a glass <laughs> so I can have uh, yeah. a couple of crafty glasses? I'm getting more into the glasses away from the box standard pint glass which I've got about 20 yeah which is probably not a lot but beer festivals over the last 10 years you would pick up a glass it's like... mm. yeah well the, the, 
yeah. more ar aromatic beers, then these kind of things are Perfect. quite handy. Yeah. Oh. yeah. I might um, liberate a glass when I'm at the, fest, uh, the Regensburg Craft Beer Festival this year. But it's like one of those things like uh, with you, Coke, where you've got to pay for the glass as well as the, like, well, you pay, yeah. you pay a euro for a, like, 0.1, you know, like, for a yeah. 100 mil, which is, isn't too bad, but, sure. but hopefully they have branded glasses this year at the festival, because I'll, I'll definitely be, um, accidentally letting that fall in my bag. I mean, it, it, even if I have to pay for it, if it's a certain thing, I'll, you know, I don't mind. It doesn't bother me. I don't nick glasses, to be honest. I'm not really... People do it all the time, though. You always know someone, oh, yeah, got all these. It's like, yeah. I'd rather pay for yeah. it because it, it, the brewery's kind of... Yeah. Well, property my... and stuff. You, you want to do well, so you just buy it. My uh, younger brother's got a, a good tactic for taking glasses what he basically does is is if we're like in a pub or a bar or whatever what he'll do is he'll go into the toilet with his glass because he was trying to drink it and then he, when he comes back out he just like literally slips it under his coat and just walks out <laughs> <laughs> so it's like <laughs> fair enough so he's got like peroni glasses Salaratoire glasses. <laughs> and it's like, I, the thing is, though, I don't want them. Yeah. yeah. I'm not, I've got them already. I don't want more than one. Um, I've got I've got my brew by numbers one from Leeds. Right. Yeah, I pinched it. Yeah. I, I don't know who's got it that. More, it's more, more, more of a souvenir. Yeah, souvenir got... for the day. I've yeah. got two of these, and I've got one of the three-quarter pint glasses as well. Cool. Is that what brewed by numbers? Yeah, all, all from the brewery, yeah. Because there was a pile of oh, them left, and I was like... So we, I was pouring all these drinks into one glass, or a plastic one, and then there was like three empty glasses, so I was like... I'll have, and then someone come across with one of these, and I'm like, where'd you get that? Because I'd had about three or four of the normal pint glasses, I was going to take one or two, and then that come out, I was like, oh. So I asked him, can I swap one of these pint straight glasses for one of these? He goes, yeah. But then I went and got another drink, and I said, right, can I have, without my glass, and got another one, so. Mm. I've got two of these and one, one uh, three quarter pint. I'll leave one of these up here. Mm -hmm. So I've actually got a glass uh, if, if I have a beer in a flat. I need a good pills in a glass. That's, that, that's the only thing I think I'm lacking on. Yeah. I've, I've got a nice one from uh, uh, one of the breweries here in Bavaria because it was in one of those like obscene, oh, you can get six beers and a glass for four euros. It's like, okay. The, the, the beers are okay, the passable, but I get, I get yeah, a three, or, yeah, three or four euro glass. This is going down well. I've nearly done it already. <laughs> Bad. The stress of London. <laughs> I can imagine. Or perhaps something else that's in London. <laughs> it's, all in, it's all in code. <laughs> I, I, I see it. They've got more charges now, haven't they, in huh? London now as well. If you've got a car that's more than 11 years old, then you're going to pay £11 a day. I don't know. I, I used, I've just got an Oyster card and it's oh. in the bus or, bus or tube. So, they're much easier. <laughs> two quid. I think it's 180 on a bus and 240 or 230 on a tube every time. So, yeah. you can't go on them now without... Western card, so oh. you have to get one. So what it you works out cheaper. You the Cap Camden area, you say, Craig? Yeah, I mean, I'm about five minute walk from Warren Street at that end of Camden. Yeah. So, sort of, sort of Victoria Lines, literally five minute walk. Then that takes me go to Green Park, go Green Park to which is on the Jubilee line goes to Bermondsey. So 
going out towards the east of London. So it's not too bad. So that'll be the route to take if I ever go to this Beaver Town extravaganza, which I'm not too sure at the moment. When's that on? Um, first weekend in September, I believe. Is it the 7th? 6th, 7th, or 7th, 8th, or whatever, something like that. It'd be, not, it'd be nice uh, to go for Friday and Saturday. It's £50 for one day, though. Jesus. Yeah. And do you have to pay for the, the drinks individually? Like the... I'm, assu- I'm assuming so, but and there's going to be massive queues, and but there's going to yeah. be some amazing stuff there. Too stressful for me, that but, sound. Yeah. It's easy. It's yeah. cheaper for me to do that than go to Leeds International, to be honest. Uh, okay. Because I've got mm. gigs here where I can stay, so it's kind of yeah. So that's taken out of. You are you staying at the uh, staying at the Queen's Hotel in Leeds? When I go, yeah, I need to hurry up and save some money though. That's the problem. It's all paid for. It's just spending money on. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I, I was saying I was saying to Peter earlier on. I'm. I'm I think I jumped the gun a bit with it. I mean, I bought my ticket yeah, for it. Same here. Yeah. But I'm a bit sort of, do I commit to it or not? I'm not too sure at the moment. I'm 50-50 because work and stuff like that um, yeah. might possibly get in the way of it. So I'm not too sure at the moment. Oh, right. That'd I mean, I'll, I'll, of course, of course I want to go. I want to go. I want to go, but... Um, and I, I would try my damnedest to, to make that happen. Mm. It might be out of my hands towards the end of the yeah. March. Yeah. I mean, I've got everything yeah. cheap-wise. I mean, I'm, I think I'm doing the whole thing, though, with Jake. I'm mm. hopefully meeting him on the same train at Peterborough. And I gave cool. him the times I was going, yeah. the ticket I got. 15 quid one way from London. No, you Leeds, you, you, like you like can't that. say no to that. Right. That's, that's good. That's good. Very good. Yeah, I I've looked, I've looked now, and it's like 120 quid one way. Fuck it. It's like, how the fuck do they come to these prices sometimes? Where you book in advance? I, I, I think they just chuck a fucking dice up in the head. Whatever it lands on today, we'll fucking charge it, you know. I mean, I, I'm just going to... I'm, I'm only here, but I'm just going to get another beer. It's not my bedroom or nothing, so... I'm trying to keep quiet, but it's difficult when you've had a beer. Um, beers? Oh, I know that feeling. Especially in the one-bedroom apartment. I've got four, four pack for six six quid, so it's not too bad. Yeah, you can't complain about that. It's steady, you know what you're getting. Mm. I mean, I've never done a review on it, funnily enough, but I've got one ageing. I want to do like an aged one against them, like a new one. I've heard, I've heard so many so many things about punk IPA. I mean, when when it when it first came out, it was it was a really cloudy beer, and it was it was supposed to be the bee's knees back then, and then they changed it, and it became more filtered and cleaner looking. Yeah, I haven't watched. It's been a while since I've had it. I think Simon Simon done that review, and it was really kind of much cloudier now, and it's mm. really well filtered now. But... Yeah. Most of these are well filtered now, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, I, I have seen his review, but it was years ago, because I've been following him probably when he first started. Um, but no, I, I haven't got round to doing a review of it yet. I will do, but I'm going to do a new one against an old one. Mm-hmm. Just just to work out whether this hop fading off thing is true or not. It'll be a different story, so I'm trying to find out for myself kind of thing yeah I thought do have a punk it's one of them poppy everyone knows kind of beers so here's here's a two year old bottle against a fresher bottle so which I can still get bottles down my way I can get both but I might do like an old bottle new bottle and a can in one sort of review that'd be good to you. see see what comes out on top it's a beer that everyone can pretty much get hold of now in a supermarket yeah um so yeah i might put that on the forum somewhere put it on there <laughs> on a strict forum yeah on the uh... and see if how long it takes to get taken off 
It's not that um, Starsy beer foreign place, is it? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Bang on there. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on that this form we were talking about earlier. I call that, and uh, but I don't have anything to do with it no more. Mm. Yeah, same here. Yeah, some of it's okay, and some of it's why? What's the yeah. point of having a forum when you're cutting half of what people put can put up out of it? It's almost like, like you said, an elitist group. It is. Yeah. It is. It's. It's. it's and I'm sure most of the communist are probably fucking really okay. Real group. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure the guys are generally pr probably nice guys as well. So, I, I, I you know, I, there you go. I, I, just me. I, was, I was nodding my head. Everything you were saying earlier, I was like, you know, there's no need for it, really. I don't. Think. No, there's not. No. Like, like you said before in the past, Craig, at the end of the day, it's a fucking beer. Exactly. And, although and, I, and although people glamorise it up to fuck, you know. Although I did, I was quite excited to go chase, almost like chasing a beer yesterday. Because I knew it was going to be hard for well, I'm going to do it. Uh, oh yeah, if you had the opportunity. Yeah, and I've got like a, I put a load of when I go to London, I'll keep tabs on what's, what's occurring and then there was rumours and then it came out that, oh, we're going to have some special beer from Cloudwater. I was like, oh, what's that? Yeah. And then I think the day before they put it out, I thought, like, well, I, I wasn't sure if I was going or not. And then... I'm just going to pop to the toilet. Fair enough. And then it, it, I ended up... I got to Camden and I was like... <laughs> They were going to see one of her aunts. I'm like, okay. Because so, I'll, do you want to stay or not? I said, no. So I walked <laughs> down to, I walked down to Brewdog Bar and they, they actually found a, 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 um, a keg of uh, the New England beer that they didn't realise they had. Oh, okay. Like about 10 minutes, 10 minutes before I got in there. Oh, nice. I was like, oh, wow. So I had two, um, two, two thirds of that. And then, I had, yeah. and, and then I had, um, it's not the, um, you know, the new can that um, Beaver Town have brought out the uh, with still water. I've seen it, but I can't remember the name yeah. or the yeah, style. Some, of it's it's imperial stout with like cherry and something or other. Oh, okay. But it wasn't that one. It was another one with hazelnut and chocolate. Ooh. And it was about, I think it was 9.8%. And it was, it was absolutely, I've done a review of it as well. I've done a review of New England, that version of the cherry, or, or that series, I guess. I think they've done about three or four. I'm not Is sure. that part of the uh, Tempest project? No, this, I don't think so. Mm. Um this was part of, um, I think it was just a collaboration beer. Oh, okay. Stout. And I think it, they've done that original one before, the one with cherries and stuff. I think this could be the second time they've done it, I'm not sure. I, I remember seeing it maybe last year or something like that. But I missed out on the cans. I'm more into the cans as well, because then I, I just collect them as well. So, mm -hmm. But... Um, I was going to say, so I've done, I had three beers in there, and then I, I got in the tube, went to Bermondsey, had the the birthday beer, and the V12, so I've done like a, a joint review of them two. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to think, what, did I have anything else? I think I, I think I had two halves of the birthday beer, and then one of the V12, and then I went from there to... Doing by numbers, which is just around the corner. Nice, nice little way. Um, I can't remember what I had there. I, I put them all on untapped anyway, so. Yeah. Nice, so I look forward to see. Did you record? You you record reviews, though? I've done every single beer yesterday, so by the yeah. end of it, I, I was a bit beard up and. 
Oh, nice. I'm looking forward to those reviews then. Yeah. It like that review I done when I thought I was offline and was. I'm probably I'm probably just going to post that as well. You should do. With apologies to to Cloudwater for being pissed. But there you go. I've done enough beers of this, so <laughs> I'm sure they can put up they can put up with me being pissed on one of them. All right. <laughs> But yeah, I, I was on an R and I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to post it. But I'm not, I'm not going to go and buy it again just because I was pissed reviewing it the first time. It's just, that's, that's just the way it is. But it was still a good beer, even though I was drunk. <laughs> it's one of them beers you still remember. Oh yeah, it sounds fucking fantastic. It sounds like the best of IPA that they've uh, actually done, from what I've heard. What, which one? Uh, the birthday double I it's a double IPA, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it, it's nine percent again, but it, um, I'm more. It, it, it was very good. It's more smooth. I'm not quite so sharp. Yeah, more okay. of a kind of round, more of a rounded mouthfeel. Um, I think. The V11 was amazing. Mm -hmm. um, I think the V11 is better than the V12, slightly. They're all on the world-class level, but... Mm -hmm. And I still think Clairvoyance has been kind of underrated compared to those in the New England as well. Um I still think the clairvoyance is probably up there with one of the best I've had this year, for sure. I don't, I don't reckon much to this. It's all right, but it's, it, it's that sour, that sour edge to it. See it. Hit me, test. I can't see it. No, I can't see it. Hit me, test. Oh, the second batch. No, the first one. Ah, oh, no, the, the second batch is slightly better. Yeah, there's sourness in it. I, I, I'm not digging it. No, that's why I bought another one from the brewery when I bought the Clairvoyance. So I bought another one of those. I'm going to have to charge this thing up. I've only got 10%. <laughs> Hang on. I'm going to have to move location somehow. Um... So there's a bar at the end of the bed, so I can't really... I don't know how I'm going to do this. Oh, bollocks. I might have to sit over there. Set on the floor. I can't be arsed for that. <laughs> you won't be able to get back up, mate. <laughs> You've got to get back up. That's the problem with doing that. That's true. Anyway, I quickly need to piss, so I shall be right back. Yep. I'll lift my beer over there now. It's like... <laughs> Such a bell end sometimes. I don't know. I just it's like I do it on purpose. It's so regular. <laughs> I don't know. I just it makes me wonder sometimes whether I'm half blonde or something. The fuck now? now I'm sitting on the. It's like watching a sketch out of bloody. Some of us do have them here. <laughs> Now I've got to turn the phone off. Oh, that's on the wrong side, so that's got to go round. The volume's underneath. The phone's, I think. Right, I don't know if that's charging. We'll find out. Oh, God. <clears throat> right. There we go. That's a bit better. God, why do they have to shout? They're only talking to each other. They're shouting. I don't know what they're saying. I haven't got a clue, but Jesus. I don't get it. It's just crazy. I'm getting on I'm a... I, I, I almost came home last night. Almost came home today. But I'm still here. Um, on my own. Um... It's supposed to be Monday. I'm coming back. Okay. But, um, yeah. 
it's okay. I, I, I try and make the most of it when I do come up here. Yeah. Check out what's around. Keep right. tabs on what right. is going on. Sorry? Try and check the positives out of it. Yeah. Yeah. I, that's what I try and do. But we've, we've added conflict. So that's like, mm. anyway, mm. you don't hear about all that nonsense. Um, I don't know, has, has Harry done these reviews yet? Do you know? Cause... What, the bottle share again? Yeah. It's been like, yeah, it's been it, ages. I, 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 was saying, I, I was saying to Peter earlier on about it, it seems like ages now since we did that. And I haven't, I haven't seen any sort of content. Uh, I think I think he's got he's got him pending, yeah. but he, he's so he's so far behind on his uh, on his uh, you know his backlog of videos. I think he's just sort of you know he's, yeah. he's pending basically, mate. No, it's fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, there's one of you had the Ten Commandments the other day. You done a review on yourself. Yeah, yeah, it's fucking amazing, beer that was. I must admit, I haven't watched it yet, but I will do. Yeah. Um, is it, how much do you pay for your bottle? Um, uh, Mrs. got me that for Christmas. Um, oh, no. special, yeah. I think it was about 12 euros a bottle, something like that. 12, 13 euros a bottle. Oh, that's, a good, that's a good price. Yeah, that's a good, fantastic. I think I paid... I mean, I, I paid... Um, all right, it was from Bottle Shop and it's in the UK, so I mean, I think I paid £18 for the bottle over in Margate. Mm. And I didn't realise that Harry already had I, it. I, I had a choice of that or another one, but I thought that one sounded better and then I bought it. And I yeah. left on untapped and Harry had already posted on oh, because I wanted to get beers that everyone never had before. Mm. I mean, that go, going back to the bottle share that. We did that. That beer that you brought to the table, that uh, that me me Mexicano, is it Mexicana? Oh yeah, that's awesome. Oh, fucking amazing beer that was. Oh, and there's, there's a, I think there's another couple of other. There's another couple of other versions of that. There's 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 three beers that stick out stick out for me from from that sort of, and that was the. Yellow Belly, the Mexicano that you bought, and the um, Primitor, that Primitor 24. Yeah. That was fucking amazing. Brilliant beers. It was, yeah, it was for the ABV. And <laughs> yeah, that's that. it, yeah. It, Even the style we, of it. We did a lot of beers that weekend, but they're, they're the three that we need stand out for me and, and the ones that I haven't forgot. No, that's good. The trouble is the beer world, it never stays still long enough for you to catch up with these things. It's yeah, just, it's, it's co constant, constant. It's just, I wish I'd just like leave it alone for a minute. Let, let people get to try your beers, you know? It's, it's a bit, yeah, some, sometimes it's a bit too fast paced. I was, I was saying to Peter earlier on about it. Uh, I mean, I, a, a few a few beers I've, I've jumped all over. You know, I, I straight on it, pounced. But now I'm, I'm thinking, oh, fuck it, I can't be arsed with chasing after beers. I mean, I, I just I, I mean, I was like, get one of I, was, I, was, I was a bit, it reminded me yesterday of another hobby I used to do. I used to go all over the country trying to see I'm into wildlife and bird watching, or used to be yeah. into bird watching. I still am, but since I was a kid, and then something rare used to turn up. I used to like get a phone call. Oh, do you want to go? I'm like, yeah, I'll jump in, make a car load, and we'll, off we go to Scotland. Mm. It's a bit like that, but with beer, it's yeah. quite a lot yeah. of similarities. Trying to keep up with the, you know the curve, and yeah, it's, it, you know. It, for me, it get it gets quite stressful because you've got new new more or less on a weekly basis. 
And, you know, you think, fucking hell, you know, oh, do, I, do I want to commit to it, you know? I used to be like that with, with like, chasing rare birds. I used to get really kind of hit up and, and then it got to the point where I was, I didn't even didn't go or I was missing things all the time and it got to the point where I, I didn't, it didn't really bother me anymore. But I'm at that early stages in beer where it actually does bother me a little bit. I know it shouldn't. It's only, like I said, it's only a beer, but but you mm. want to try it as well. And yeah. It's like I, magic I, rock. I, I, love them, I love them to bits, but... Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I Is he paused? I think it paused for a second. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, Peter. Oh, okay. I don't know I think, if think, Craig's still there. Yeah, I think he's frozen up. I think, I think the, the, uh, the in-laws have uh, put the rope around his neck. Yeah. Oh, he's gone. gone. It, it, it'll, be, it'll be bad. Oh, yeah. He always is. Good old Craig. He's quality. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's been quite an eventful night so far. Um, we've had a world yeah. exclusive of Rod pissed out of his head, which was... <laughs> Great uh, to see. I want to see yeah, more of that he, stuff. He, he's not going to be able to live that down. No. <laughs> it, it's it's forever on YouTube because I don't stop casts. I just let them go. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> be it on your head. Ne ne next time I'm, I'm on a hangout with him, I'll... Uh... I'll mention that to him. If you like, yeah, what? just hey? just make a slight mention of it. Yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> you have no you don't recognition remember. of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, um, I forgot to go through the like um the stats about yeah i've got i've got a book now where i all the researching but um yeah i was um, i mentioned it but i didn't actually talk about it and uh like the rate beer stats for gamma ray and smog rocket so the gamma ray according to rate beer is 98 percent overall with 99% well 99 99 out of 100 for style and it was actually at one point in the top 50 for American style pale names which is good yeah. um, the current best on rate beer is the free Floyd's zombie dust which I've heard so yeah. many people talk about I, th I think Rod's yeah. Rod's actually done a review of that, hasn't he? I think so. Yeah. And that, that's got 100 for beer and 100 for style. Uh, beer Advocate gave um, Gamma Ray 87 out of 100, with the best being a double dry hopped pseudo Sue Citra from Toppling Goliath, which it okay. makes sense that the best would be an American one mm -hmm. and then untapped gave the gamma rate well overall it's got a rating of 3.92 out 
out of five and it's the second best uh, UK brewed uh, American pale ale can't remember what the first was and then uh, the best overall for American style pale ale is again the double dry hopped pseudo Sioux from Toplin Goliath and I've, I've actually reviewed a can that stuff as well oh nice what did you think of it if you can remember yeah yeah, yeah is it good beer i mean on par with gamma ray i don't uh, know okay. i don't know i mean pretty pretty snazzy artwork he's got like a a t-rex on the yeah can. i think i've seen that floating around yeah, it was, I mean, good beer, but um, mm -hmm. it'd be unfair to compare it right here, right now, sort of oh, thing, yeah. you know. But yeah, but apparently, according to Untapped, the best UK American style pale ale is the pale ale Citra by is that the Colonel, I think. All right, okay. which is three point nine two out of five. And then the Smug Rocket, uh, on Rate right Beer, it's got 94 out of 100 overall, with 95 for its style, which is fair enough. But the best uh, smoked beer on Rate right Beer is the uh, Vidava Porta Baltica Vodotsny 24 Degrees from Poland, which got a hundred for both scores uh, on beer advocate it got 85 out of 100 and the best one on beer advocate was the smoking wood bourbon barrel aged from the brewery and then okay. untapped smug rocket got 3.77 out of five and it was the fourth best uk um smoked beer the best being overall uh, Hemel and Arda from, well, the bourbon barrel aged version from De Molen. And the best UK uh, smoked beer was the Tempest Project barrel aged Imperial Lord Smog Almighty, which is a Beaver Town beer. So it's actually quite highly regarded on all platforms, which is nice to see. Right, so I suppose, yeah. Yeah, I probably should have mentioned all that stuff like four hours ago, but oh well. Yeah. <laughs> Bit late there. Yeah. I can't go wrong with Google Facts. I didn't know that was on here. Yeah, I think they're getting rid of that in April. Oh, right, okay. For whatever reason. I've never really looked into it that much, but there's, there's quite a bit on here, isn't there? Oh, yeah. You, you can have quite a lot of fun. My speed. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, you could have so much fun with this if you're off your face. Quality. <laughs> <laughs> it's like why 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 did they want to get rid of stuff like this?
Oh, there we go. That's all we needed. There we go. A nice, lovely birthday cake. Trouble is, I don't know how to get rid of it now. No, you've got it. You've got to keep it now, Dean. Yeah, probably. I'll do. I mean, we've literally got no viewers right now, but um, there, there are two or three people who will watch this after it's been uploaded. But yeah, I've got my last beer of the night, which is uh, from. Actually, a really good craft beer brewery here in Germany, which I think you can get uh, a few of their beers back in the UK. The Riedenberger Brewery. Okay. And this is the Emma beer, which is, it's just described as an unfiltered beer. So, I've had this a few times, but I've never really worked out what type of beer it is. Oh, it sounds like a barley wine. What's the ABV on that, Peter? Uh, ABV is only 5.1. But it's got that like fermented fruit aroma you get with some barley wines. It's not bad, but you wouldn't want to end your session on a beer like that. Just making this worse. I'm trying. I'm trying to get rid of it. I'm just adding more <laughs> things. <to it. laughs> I've got fucking horns now. Yeah, you're you're a, you're a horny dog. Uh, yeah, yeah. I bet uh, you never thought you'd have to be that. Hey. There we go. Back to his no, normal I like self. That. Yeah, you could get lost. In that stuff. But yeah, it's pretty, pretty I, cool, really. I've always wanted to actually use like the the sound effects, but my computer reacts so slow that you press it and then it, like happens two minutes later. Yeah, I got that on that that last one <laughs> I did. Uh, It was a bit quicker than last time. Yeah, it was a lot quicker than last time. Ah. <laughs> I'm like a kid in a fucking toy shop here. <clears throat> Yeah, I think it was Rod that got me into all this because he, he has it on his iPads, oh, yeah. doesn't he? Yeah. He's like an expert when it comes to using these effects. Yeah, yeah. Perfectly to a T, isn't it? Yeah. But when I try it, it's like 30 seconds later. Hang on a minute. Let, let's just try something. <laughs> good, old, good old Rod the pisshead. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Ah, do I Google effects? Oh, backgrounds. Oh, there you go. Ah, Craig's back. I can't 
can't even see. I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> that big beer, then, mate. <laughs> what you've reached that four pack already. I'm on the third. Um, I don't know what's going on with this thing. Hang on. <laughs> I can't even see anyone. I've still got the um, hangout screen. I downloaded the app earlier. What are you wearing? <laughs> I just, I thought, what's going on here? Punk IPA, I'm thinking. Yeah. Is that one of them? Cowboys? Skunk yeah. IPA. Pirate IPA, I can see. What? what? I don't know what's going on here. I don't know if it's my phone playing silly buggers. There's a pirate drinking a beer. Yeah, you're seeing things, mate. Yeah. Yeah, you, I've, I've, I've no idea what you're you talking about. I don't about, know why it's on another page. Yeah, you're on summit for sure. Yeah. Just, 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 just uh, having our usual conversation. Yeah, I'll be back in a sec. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's tripping. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, dear. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. Taking this off there, either. So, if uh, people have made it this far. Who the hell Ooh. needs that as a background? That is, that is good. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Yeah. Just a, a man in a moustache behind files, apparently, out there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, all the no, you're just a no, you're breaking the <laughs> 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 Right, you're back in. Yeah, serious now. Yeah. Remove all effects immediately. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm like, I don't know. I thought that was only for <laughs> Instagram and shit. I thought my phone is really gone now. I left my beer over there again. Oh, please. Two seconds. It's a hard enough one. <laughs> I don't like this setup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my dear. Scrambled brain. I blame John McEnroe with a Google thing on. <laughs> you still on the punk IPA, Craig? Yeah, I've got four of them and I've got two of um, Mean Times IPA or Pale Ale. Pale. I've got, I've got oh, a couple okay. of bottles of that. I've not done anything from them. Yeah. Apart from an MS gear or two. I, th I, th I think I've, I've I mean I've I did a review of uh, that barrel aged port thing that he did which was pretty good um, I think I've had a couple of their pale ales which have been alright I've had a I've had a fair again I think I think it's a brewery that's had a bit of stick because they got they got bought out didn't they so we've had a bit of a yeah, that's the thing. bit of a fashion yeah. yeah that's the thing I'm when they were in M&S, Waitrose, um, they were really kind of quite easily to get hold of. But now, 
it's pretty much, unless you're in London, um, you can get one or two of their beers in Sainsbury's. That suits you, that does. I'm trying to hand. turn it up. But, um, there we go. I think I had their chocolate porter about three or four years ago. That was nice. Um, oh, in their, in their little funky little bottle. Yeah, that, that that was quite that's quite cool. Mm. It's a big bottle as well, big big snazzy kind of wine bottle type thing with a cork and cage thing. Okay. Um, when I was visiting Cambridgeshire just before I moved out of Cambridgeshire, I, I had one up there. That's about two thousand and four, something like that. Two thousand and four, two thousand, two thousand fourteen, two thousand and four. They do, they do some pretty pretty good beers, really. I mean, like I said, they, they get a bit of stick for the buyout. But the beers that I've had from them, they've been pretty, pretty all right. Not amazing, no, just, but, you know. I, I went to the... I went to the um, they've got, like, a... I've been to the brewery tap. Which is in that kind of well, in Greenwich. Well, you know Greenwich. It's it's in that Greenwich. kind of yeah, just just off the um, part of pot. bypass. Yeah, part of the university or something. Yeah. Um, which is good. There's a there's a great pub there called I think it's Gypsy Moth, which is really near Cutty Sark. I went up there about four or five years ago. Um, so that, that was cool. But I've not really had much from them since the takeover, to be honest with you. One of them breweries where I, I, I had a few bits, but not not all that whole range, even before they were taken out. I, it was another one of them breweries that started me off on craft beer a bit. Yeah, same here. I yeah. think the, the beers trickled into like places like Waitrose, where you could get, yeah. uh, that, like you said, the, the chocolate porter. That pills now. I think they did a, a wheat beer, which is pretty, you know, yeah. readily, readily available. Yeah, I mean, they hit and miss down my way. Obviously, here there's a lot more easy to get in the supermarkets and stuff, which is kind of funny when they've been bought out. Even down my way, you still can't. Yeah, get that's that's weird, isn't it? Because is, is it AB like in that owner? I don't know. I, I, so. I know they've been bought out think so yeah like you say but I know it does bother a lot of people that are not spending my money on yeah. they've got enough money for them so I kind of same get that, with, uh, with uh, Cam, 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 Camden Town in it they, they got they got brought out didn't they yeah yeah and Ballast Point although it wasn't the same company but same no. kind of thing really people don't as soon as they bought out I'm not touching them but like, oh. so uh, the Constellation brands yeah. So yeah. I think it's a Mexican brewery, isn't it? Is it um brewery company? Yeah, they do um a few of the sort of uh, Mexican style beers. Yeah. They like like Corona and yeah. Soul and all that yeah. kind of, yeah. That that yeah. that group. Yeah. I, th I, th I think it was I'm the biggest gonna... buyout out today, wasn't it? The Ballast Point. X, X mm, amount yeah, of million so. pounds. Maybe, maybe uh, Goose Island as well. Yeah. Yeah. I think he was talking about it. I, I, mean, I was watching a, a chat with um, one of the American guys. Talk, I think it was Rods on Thursday night. I watched most of that before they went offline. Um, talking about, you know, the politics, the current politics, the big story. The, Mm. the last couple of weeks um, yeah it's kind of like I don't think they're going to win that case against Walmart no, no that's, that's, that's such a bullshit thing it's not going to happen no I was talking to um, Chad Chad commented on the post on Facebook yeah. that Albano ran a bit and he made such a good point These like Civil law cases, not civil law, it's completely different stuff, but 
it, it's so easy to put in a claim over something so stupid in America. Yeah. But it's just, it's, it was a good point, and he, he, he laid it out. Yeah. Which made it look really stupid, what, what you, yeah. can, you know. But what is the, if it, if it got to a courtroom, which is what they were talking about on the other chat, Rod's chat, got to a courtroom, what's the definition? When they keep, yeah, the, 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 people say, oh, there is, and was on that chat didn't, were pretty adamant that, especially Jay, obviously Jay knows quite a lot about yeah. potential law, and oh, yeah. apparently not a lot of, you can't, you can't. No, it's not, it's not like a, a legal, it's not like a legally bind of what craft beer is. It's, it can change so easily. It's like, oh, we've changed the definition of craft beer to you make six million barrels, you produce six million barrels of beer a year. Well, this is what we're going to say is craft now. Yeah. Yeah. But even though, even now, I, I drink lots of tasty beers. But what is craft beer? I think Rob mentioned something on Twitter probably the week or whenever. And what is what is craft beer yeah. anyway? And 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 does it actually matter? To me, not to me, it don't. And I'm not sure if you because I think me and Dean talked about this earlier on, towards the start. I've had bits I bit that I out. I'm not too sure if we were talking about this before we went live. But we were talking about like the whole craft stuff. And it's like so many people have different definitions of what craft actually is. So there's no real yeah. there's like maybe one body that like defines what a craft beer is, but like the Boston Beer Company can just say, Oh well we're producing twelve million barrels of beer a year. So then this yeah. like body of people say, well, well, this is what we're going to define as what craft is now. And it's, it's just this arbitrary. I mean, I, I was always under the impression that if you're going to have a impression of, of what craft beer is, mine would be if you're independent, the craft beer, no matter yeah. what, if you're not owned by a, a, like AB InBev or Boston Coors or something like that, then your your craft beer, yeah. But then, and then people go, oh, but then we we don't we only do cask. So you got that feeds into that. So, but then they're independent as well. Yeah. So then it's oh, real ale and stuff, real real ale, not 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 fake. Ale yeah, or, it, that's a stupid no, term in itself. There's no kind of alternative to the real part mm -hmm. but so what what is it when it's not real yeah because every beer is real yeah well um, I'm I'm totally into that counterfeit ale it's my favourite type of ale I, I just it, it, it's just I don't know if you like it great yeah if you like your macros good you know, at least someone drinks, so that's good. Yeah. There's too much nonsense in politics, and oh, I'm against. You can, I, I get it, but also, in a, on a, on one hand, but in a, on the other hand, I, 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 I just don't. Yeah. You're not going to drink something you don't like. It doesn't matter what it is, whether it's real ale, craft beer, whatever they are, um, macros or whatever. You know? Exactly. It's this, I said before there's too much there's too much bullshit in, in, in yeah. life in general. Don't 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 give someone a half time about what they drink. That's just my opinion anyway. So. Yeah. But yeah. Well it's like to me fundamentally beer is and I think um uh Jonathan from uh Northern Southern Beer Reviews makes a really good point of this. Beer is essentially the working man's 
drink. Mm. So, you know, fundamentally, yeah. I, it's I've caught up. I've caught up on quite a few of his reviews. Yeah, it's difficult. You don't always get round to seeing everyone. It's just there's so many good, good guys out there doing it. You just, I'm yeah. sorry, lads, but I, I, you know what I mean. Otherwise, yeah, I, I still need to see uh, his um, KBS review. Yeah, I purposely went on to that. I thought, oh, and then he, funnily enough, I didn't realise, and then he mentioned me, and I thought, like, oh, that's that's a nice touch. We've done that for, yeah. <laughs> you know. I don't expect anyone to. Uh, just, just the work. That's just me, though, you know. Um, it's, it's, it's nice though when someone does that. I, but half the time in videos, I, I just forget because there's so many other things I'm trying to remember. And then I'm, I'm, I'm the same opinion as well. Like, you know, I, I've seen it, you know, like yourself or Peter or someone else's doing. And I think what. Give him a shout out or put a, put a link in down below, you know. And, and you do, you, you just forget sometimes. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't do it deliberately. No, no, but then if I forget, I just forget. Put, yeah. I'll, put, I'll put more more better information in the description, which I always say, I said, mm -hmm. you know, don't listen to me. There's more, there's better information down below, you know. Yeah. Um, I'll leave it at that. I mean, and then I'll add things to certain videos. If someone does a beer after I've done it, then I'll, I'll add something after. Or a link after or whatever. I'm always editing things like that on videos. Are you getting on with your camera now? Are you settled in with it? Mine, yeah. I've just charged it up and... It's, it's, it's fantastic, you know. I don't know. I haven't rewatched the beers I've done yesterday yet. I think the, the M ones are going to be a bit messy, but but the sound quality is okay. I think I, I haven't rewatched anything from uh, what I've done. I, I haven't done that for a long time. Probably two months. I haven't rewatched it. <laughs> I don't like watching myself on on screen. I, I can't handle it. It's just a bit weird. It's like being on a phone. Yeah. I, I don't like the sound of my own voice. I hate it. I've I've kind of got used to that. Kind of. <laughs> I'll I'll still cringe sure if I voice. if I'm editing some videos. I'm like, Ish. I just don't edit anymore. Oh, well, I've never have done. I just can't be bothered. Yeah. Same here. I can't be fucked with it. I just. It, it play and cross my fingers just, and just take it all hands out. Yeah, it's just raw. That's it. It's like trying to get that bloody sticker off that can the other day. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, is that the... The, 20, yeah. no, the Northern Monk? The yeah, Northern Monk, yeah. Minute yeah. Video, I mean, ten minutes of it. So, 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 so it's law, and you, you, you're doing a live with you. You can't peel it off. It just come off? Oh, God's sake. <laughs> I was like, I'm not editing it. I said, well, I said, you can probably go if you want. And then I can't remember what I said. I haven't watched it back. But, you know, a 20-minute video and 10 minutes trying to get this stupid thing off the can, you know. It's like, oh, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you, if you weren't filming, you, you know, you'd peel it off straight away. I'd just come it? off straight away. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. like um, I was talking yeah. to Dean before. I I've, I've recorded a review a couple of days ago. And it was a fucking nightmare of a review. <laughs> and then there just happened to be um, like um, ginger granules, like a little plastic container of ginger granules. And at the end of the review, I just held up this little thing and said, I would rather stick this up my fucking ass than re record <laughs> this review. But the thing is, I didn't like purposely like say that to add a bit of comedy. I didn't even realise I'd done oh, that. So I was like looking through this video because I knew it was a, a mess of a video and I knew I, I had to edit it together to make it coherent. And then there's just like this little extra clip on the end where I'm just looking at myself talking to me saying, 
I'd rather stick this up my fucking arse. So I was like, <laughs> I'm going to keep that in. I've got to add that in. I didn't even know I was doing that. Why would I even say that to myself? I, I like the way you, I think, I can't remember what, what, what one it was. And then you, you edited something in the beginning and the end. Like, oh, or something like that. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I, thought that, I thought that was pretty cool. That's very me, that kind of editing. Oh, yeah. See, I mean, I'll, sometimes I I'll, edit stuff out because I take too long in between sips of the beer. So there'll be like 20 seconds of me just like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Silence. Yeah. I've. I've um, there's been a few reviews where I've actually forgot I'm actually doing a review where I'm just sitting having a beer. I'm, like, oh, I'm actually doing the review here. I was thinking about the beer and then forgot I was actually doing the review. And I was like, yeah. oh, shit. It's happened a few times. I've I've got like a couple of volumes of um, outtakes as well. That I was going to post over Christmas and completely forgot. <laughs> I think they're about ten minutes long each. I've you know over over about a year. I've just put them all together. I think some of my best stuff I've already deleted, which is annoying. <laughs> Actually made me laugh. Or it made me laugh, which is a bit weird. So, um, most of it's rubbish, though. It's just like, mm. or forget the name. I'm drinking, I have no idea. You know, shit like that, you know. <laughs> I'm drinking a beer, you know. <laughs> I put all, all that sort of stuff together. You know what I mean, though? It's just that kind of thing. It don't bother me. It's just well, it's just putting it all together. He's gone. He's, <laughs> he's gone. gone yeah, he's gone. He's gone. <laughs> oh, God. You could probably relate to it, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. But it's just weird beer reviewing. I just you know, and, it, and and this is after reading it all for like the last ten minutes before I go on camera. And it's like, no, it's gone. I've done a few reviews as well where I've been in a pub and I had people taking the piss, people in the background going, ah, and all this. I'm trying to do a review. And it's like, <laughs> post it. I did actually get to do the review in the end. And then I showed all my mates on camera. I said, "You're going to be on YouTube." I've not posted it yet. That was last. <laughs> that was over. That was about a year ago. I think that was Dark Star. Um, what one was it? The Cream Brulee. But it, it was on. Oh yeah. It yeah. was on. Yeah, it was on draft. It's really nice beer. I've only had it twice. I've never had the can. But I've, I've had it on. I think I might have had it on on cast and I've had it on draft once that's the one I've done a review on I, I was just getting you could hear people in the background taking a piss and, mm. and then I had yeah, other sort of, people I didn't know taking doing, doing sort of live stuff yeah. and, and talking stuff yeah you, you, I just two, can't, you, can't talk, you can't predict what's going to happen can you you know you, no, I mean, then you I, get some then fucking knobhead I had two young girls behind me taking the piss, pulling faces. I didn't realise at the time. I had my mates, <laughs> I had three or four of my mates to the left of me taking the piss. It's like it's one of them. And I was like, you know what? I just don't care. So I carried on. Oh, yeah, and then the that's, way I think that's when I started to go tunnel vision when I was out doing these reviews in bars and stuff. It's got to the point it doesn't bother me. Mm. Yeah, you, you can you can get a little a little paranoid about it, can't you? Oh yeah. I suppose you can switch I off on it. it. Now I don't Helps. care. Yeah. I think they're more uneasy because someone's got a camera and doing recording, so they don't want to keep away from you. Mm. Most people, unless they've had a a load of beers, which is yeah, so it's like a magnet in it. Oh yeah. For people that have had a few beers, 
they jump in front and all this sort of carry on. I've had that a few times. The, the Kent Beer Festival was probably last year one of the worst I've had that. <laughs> Well, it didn't really matter. It wasn't a bottle or a can I've opened. It was just in a glass. I can just get rid of that and start again. Mm-hmm. Once I've done one. Um, so that, that kind of doesn't matter. But, but yeah, well, you know, I don't, I don't mind doing... I mean, I don't think we'll get any of that at Hop City, so... I'm going to try and do as many reviews as I can. I think Jake wants to do a few kind of a collab at the same time kind of thing for our channels and stuff like that. Oh, cool. And maybe Harry as well and whoever else. Hopefully you guys can make it, but it's well understandable. I don't think James... Fingers crossed. It's it's not 100% um, yes or no. No. I know James... don't think he'd be able to go. He's got to go to a wedding or something. One of the best moments. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, I'll, we'll I'll, I'll try my best. I'll try my best. He met up with uh, Titch today, didn't he? The other day, yeah, I saw that photo. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Titch. <laughs> <laughs> something like that. Um, I'm not, I'm not going there again. <laughs> I can't believe I actually said that as she was on there as well. What was that? I completely missed that. Yeah, never mind. I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna say <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough, I won't have to watch it back, mate. I'm, which I can't be doing Which that chat was that? I can't remember that one. But I'm sure was I was involved in that as well, and I can't remember it. He was, yeah, he was. You were definitely there. Um, what well, do you call him, Titch? <sighs> no, she 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 come out with a question saying, "What what do you think my name?" Oh, I can't remember what she said. Oh yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I know what you mean. Yeah. Mm. So I just like, blah. I think one or two people are like, what? I'm like, what? <laughs> they just don't ask it, you know. Like, no, she's, she's, she's cool. What? I, I don't watch her all the time, but. I just don't have time, really. I, I'm about yeah, four months. I'm, a, I'm about four months behind on on Greg's reviews. But I, I'll be following him for years and years. Um, if there's a beer that I know I'm not going to get or ever try, then I'll watch it. Mm-hmm. If there's a beer that I probably think, oh yeah, I'm gonna, I won't watch it, and I'll watch it after. Mm. So, just there's so many good people doing it. It's just. Some some days I'll, I'll watch about like two or three hours different mm-hmm. different things and I I've, I've seen her watch YouTube videos for mainstream telly to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, same here. Same as that. We're all the same I think. Um fucking shit that they put on the telly. Oh, ridiculous. I can't be doing it. Yeah, it's just it's just mm. And the shit but on there. Shit, and and the crap that my household watches, I just it just pulls me to tears. All these fucking soaps. Unless there's a bit of sport yeah. on, I mean, I'm I'm a big big kind of sport fan. Within reason, I do like my football, which is I wish I didn't, but I do. Um, you are, are you a, a Gillingham fan? No, I, I don't like local teams. I don't know what. I just oh, don't like it. <laughs> I just don't like it. They're too, it's too corny. You hear the advertisements on the radio and it's just like, oh, it's terrible. It's, so, it's like cheesy and stuff. I just can't, I 
can't be doing it. <laughs> Sorry, it's just, you know, you're right. You you should support your local team. But I just, you know, I've never been, you know, good, and always, you know, always look out for their results. Oh, they've done all right. Oh, they their shit, like Julian and their shit. At the moment, um, Margate are up and down. Dover have been doing not too bad the last few years. Um, Ramsgate, where I live, are just, you know, they're, you know, they're never going to get anywhere. They're just going to stay where they are in the low leagues. The ground was too small anyway. Where, um, but yeah, no, so I just, I keep an eye out for every now and again for their results, but it's, it's just normally full of idiots that go to the games. Not all of them, of course. Everyone's going to hate me now. Oh, you can't say that. Um, <laughs> I just can't. It's just too... It's a bit too... Who's that, that, that old boy that used to be on YouTube that, that had that famous video? Uh, Do you want some, dear? Do you want some? <laughs> you want some? You want some? You want some, dear? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what video was what, what was he? What was it? Was oh, it? I remember it now. Um, Little guy with glasses. Yeah. He made a song. He, 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 made, he made a song, didn't he, out of it? Or someone did. Yeah, he fucking, he fucking did a lot of that. Yeah. Enough to him. Your fans are shit. I can't remember. I do remember it. Was, was it Millwall, was it? Was it Millwall? No, it was a smaller team than that. No, it's a really small team, I think. Oh, OK. I do remember it when it came out about five-ish, is it five years ago? <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I've, I've, I've been out of Tesco's now for since September 2015. And it was probably a couple of years before that so it was yeah it must be four or five years ago so i mean oh, what's the bloody name of it oh, that's gonna crack, annoy me crack now. Me up, on, uh, Facebook. you want some <laughs> okay this is brilliant <laughs> he's about four foot tall yeah yeah big, big old boy fucking yeah <laughs> Uh, Wheelstone FC. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was to, it was on the tip of my tongue. It's something. Yeah. yeah, brilliant. It was brilliant. I'm on my mobile, so I, I haven't got any. I can't come off this. So, uh, any other comments or anything? Uh, I'll just have a quick look, but I'm not too sure. Is there actually anyone watching? <laughs> Poor bastards. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've got a comment from a guy called Lance the Lush, and it says, I agree, it is the working man's drink. However, at least here in the States, there is so much selection, there is no quality control, and the clients sometimes cannot tell the difference. Which makes sense. <laughs> And I think it's like yeah. that here in the UK as well. I, I found your little chat about being intimidated going into a bar quite interesting. Because I, I, I found that a little bit the first time I went into a brew dog bar. Mm -hmm. it, it, I actually felt kind of um, lost lost but it's just kind of it felt more like of a kind of a, an, an elitist kind of bar mm -hmm. um, yeah. I got and I've never been in one before you know, I didn't I, I didn't know what to expect um, it, it was busy ish and it's kind of like whereas now I'm just going there I'm like right I want Two thirds of New England IPA, please. Oh, good choice. I said, yeah. We always just put it on. I was like, oh, good. 
Um, and then I, I had two halves, two halves. I had two, as I said earlier, two, two thirds of that. So I had one, and then I had another one, and then that went down. That's more of a review beer. I'd already had like one beer of it before the review. Um, and, um, and then I had that that Beaver Town beer that I mentioned to Peter earlier. Mm -hmm. I think he was. Now it, it's an, it was another another version of the Stillwater Beaver Town beer, not the cherry one. It was it, this one was with um, hazelnut and chocolate, and it was wow. I had of that, but wow, what a beer! Um, and it, but now I kind of like and then oh good choice, oh, you know, they kind of they know that you know a bit about what's going on. Look at the thing, and mm. that's when it got a bit for the first time. And then they go, "What do you like? What's your what's your favourite style?" Because they think, "Oh, he doesn't know what he's, you know, he, he doesn't know beer." So as soon as you get a question like that, it's like, yeah. But yes, yeah, so I when I first time I went in brew dog, I was a bit like that kind of, oh god, like a rabbit in the headlights kind of thing. Now I can scan the board and think, right, I love that. Before they actually say anything. Mm -hmm. But no, it's an interesting one, what you're saying about Norwich, uh, Dean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, mean, I, I had it when I was um, in Bush. It used to pop in there quite a bit. Just to get some takeouts, you know. And, Was that uh, Norwich? Norwich? No, uh, Brew Dog uh, Shepherd's Bush. Yeah, that's that's. When um, I used to do do a bit of delivering around London, uh, and I was I was coming out of there. I'd always sort of pull in there just to get a few takeouts to take home, and I always found that a bit sort of, uh, you know, you'd walk in and. I mean, obviously, I was in my, in my work clothes. Yeah. And uh, they'd look at you, sort of, you know, you know what, what are you doing in here? Look, looking down to you, kind of thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Sh shouldn't, shouldn't you be drinking, drinking, you know? <laughs> I don't think uh, Pete will agree with you there, but there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies for the blasphemy, my master. It's okay. I can shut down this chat any time I want, yeah, but I won't. Yeah. Forgive me. Forgive me for I've sinned. Oh. <laughs> I've still got a couple of beers left, and I'm done with beer. So I'm not done with it. But I've run out. Finished. Yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm quite happy just to. Uh... Oh, I've got, it's a nice I've got this chat, beer left. It's very kind of rare that um, you get three of us on here, Emily. Yeah. A few more, so everyone can have a chat. And as much as it's great, nice. it's loads chill of, out, isn't it? Yeah, it's just like a nice freestyle thing. Casual, yeah. Yeah, nice, nice and easy. But um, mm -hmm. I was going to say something. I can't remember. Oh, um, the brew dog at Shepherd's Bush is. Um, it's, it generally seems to be where. Um, Weird beer do their collabs and things like that. Okay. But they seem to be there quite a lot anyway. I know their Kentish Town Weird Beard was collab with uh, Camden Brewery when that first came out. Uh, perhaps perhaps it isn't. I don't know. But yeah, I, I, I've got a soft spot for Weird Beards. The beers. I do. I never tried one. one. And it was uh, yeah, fantastic beer. It was one of my start yeah, out craft did. beer brewers, along, with, along with Beaver Town and, and um, Colonel. I've still got the you talking about when you've done your oh, excuse me, right? I'm right now. Um, back to when um, Beaver Town had bottles. 
Mm -hmm. I had that problem earlier as well, Harry, if you're watching. He's just posted on the group. Mm. It, took, it took me about 10 minutes to get on for some reason, and they wiped my password. And then I put my password in, wrong password. I'm like, what? It's mm. interesting. I don't know. Perhaps, perhaps there's something going on. It's like the other night, there was, a pro there was a problem with Periscope on Thursday, trying to watch Rob's thing, and he, everyone was like, oh, it's shit connection. It wasn't his connection, it was, it was, it was Periscope, it was shit. Mm. I watched the playback on that. No, I still need to watch it. It was terrible. It was terrible. It wasn't Rob's fault, it wasn't his internet, it was, it was Periscope. It was annoying so I, I really wanted to watch it as well because I, I needed something to watch. <laughs> um, I know I always, it just gives me an excuse to watch it. Be, be bored basically in the evenings. I just need, you need something, I need, and I need something, you know. The TV just doesn't do it for me unless it's a decent no. sport or even documentaries I used to like. Oh. I used to watch a lot of documentaries now, I can't be bothered. I'd rather watch the news or, or sport, and that's it. I'm done. I mean, I, mean, I, I, know, you, I know you like uh, wildlife and stuff, Craig, but um, you, you don't really see that many documentaries about that stuff anymore now, do you? No. Just Planet, like Planet, Planet Earth. Earth. Was, Planet Earth 2 was brilliant. Oh, I love that. That is a... Yeah. Even if you're not into that kind of thing, it, 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 yeah. it's a must-watch. It yeah. really, yeah. It's really opening people's eyes to the natural world. And even if you're not into it, and you're not going to take it and think, oh, yeah, for the natural world, some of the footage was, with modern technology, it's just like, wow. Yeah. 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 I'll it's, tell it's you quite... what, really messed me up with that series was with the... Um... I can't remember where it was, but with the 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 turtles when they were freshly hatched, yeah, and because of how like our society is evolving, um, because turtles yeah. obviously are drawn towards the like the moonlight, and because the the city was pretty much right on the beaches doorstep a lot of these turtles were getting confused and going back yeah. in towards the city and yeah. some of the footage they got was just so soul destroying it, it, it just shows you doesn't it what what we're doing yeah you know but Sitting most there, people yeah. haven't got most people haven't got a clue what's going on in the garden never mind yeah mm -hmm. you know they just haven't got a clue. It's just like, what's that? People are, yeah. they just don't know. Shame. Around, not, not just in your guard, but around them. I'm always kind of a bit aware. And, oh, what are you doing? I said, the, oh, the, the goals have gone up. There's, there's a bird of prey or there's a heron or there's, there's something going over. Because I, I, I've been doing this since I was like a teenager. So it's just, it's just kind of, it's yeah, it's like imprinted into your. Just, it's just I've not known any kind of different. Yeah, that's right. Well, it's like you get you get these I've, these posts up of these. Out the what are you doing? These go out and there's foreigners that have really gone to Africa to shoot a fucking elephant and a giraffe, <laughs> and they're sitting there fucking posing in front of it. Yeah, yeah they've just, just they've just shot it down and they're, they're, just, they're like sitting next to it with a big fucking smug grin on the face. Yeah, yeah. I think you know, I, you know, how can you how can you live with yourself? No, I know. But Sickening. There's this is what makes the world what it is. Mm. It takes all sorts and Well it's money man, isn't it? We do jobs like that, you know. I just can't them. I can't deal with a lot it's of down things. No, I just get angry and not like proper angry. And mm. if I had a gun, I'd shoot it myself. It, yeah. you know, it makes me feel like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same here, mate. Same here. I've never used one before, it. but if it was something like that, I'd be like, I'd be put, in, I'd, I'd be put away. You know, mm. I'd be in the wrong. Um, 
was I was going to say? Oh, back to the Planet Earth 2. I think the best couple of sequences I saw was the snakes in... Um, oh, the snakes with the lizards? Yeah, that was... God, that was so fucking it, tense. In the Galapagos, I think it was. Yeah. Wow, that was like... That's amazing. Um, and the goats on the cliff top. Oh, yeah. Was it an eagle or something trying to take one of them out? Yeah. And they were just like the, jumping the down. And it's like, what? And I was like, what? It's in, on, a, on a cliff top like that. He's driving and texting. <laughs> okay. Good luck. Have a nice trip in Bruges, Harry, mate. I'm jealous. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He'll get some belt and beers over there, won't he? Oh. Else. I'm I'm picking up a bottle of candy on next week. Uh, which which bottle is that, Craig? I don't know yet. One of my subscribers, uh, Simon Friend, who lives locally to me, he went out. Ah, he's he's um, followed me on uh, on Tapped. Yeah, yeah, he's a nice guy. I see him quite regularly. He lives in Margate, so oh, okay. I'm seeing him next Thursday. The, the, the uh, bottle shop in Margate has got like a, a Fuller's Vintage Ale night. Oh, yeah. They have like 15 different, 15 different oh, ones yeah. from each year. I miss that. Um, yeah, sure. I got, I got the second one, yeah. not the first one. Now nah, you're gonna have a great time, fella. You're gonna really enjoy Bruges. So, uh, yeah, that'd be cool. I, I, I've had the opportunity to go there years ago, but I just never, never got round to it. But, um, how long I love you... the film in Bruges. Oh. yeah, it's a really good film with Colin Farrell. No. I... I've probably seen it, but I can't remember. So. But no, um, how long are you going? I don't know how long he's going for. He'll tell us. But no, nah, nah, hopefully he does some reviews out there. I'm sure he will. That'd be cool. yeah. What was that uh, bottle of beer that you left at Aris for next time? Sorry. Um, is that a can, John? Contain... Ga Ga ah, yeah. I can't even bloody pronounce it. <laughs> it's, I've seen it a few times recently. Um, I think Peter, the master master of Hoppets, had done it recently. I think they... Oh, right. Oh, well. But there's a bit of a recce and trick for the next one. That's why I kind of look at it for, for a few yeah. hours and done, yeah, next time. Mm. Yeah, that's all right, though. It's enough time to get pissed. Mm -hmm. Make some contact. It won't take long. It won't take long to get pissed out there. There, beers. Yeah. Three or four of them, you like, yeah. That'd be by midday. Yeah, sure. That's breakfast. Right, I'm going to try and find a bottle opener. Get the meantime. Mid 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can't. I can't get my head around this shit, Mister. Not a big fan at all of it. That's the second edition was. It's still slight <coughs> tartish, but it wasn't nowhere near. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's, that, too, it's too too sour for me. I reckon the older that beer yeah. gets, the worse it will get with the tartness. It, it won't have mm. any kind of backup to it. I 
I reckon it turned out not what they wanted it. They wouldn't have brewed a second batch of a one. Yeah. Mm. Makes sense. So that's the new star bottle as well. Pretty shit mode. Well, what this one <laughs> Or the hypnotist. Both. I thought Jay was on there. Jay. Rod. No, you oh, he's right. pissed off here. He's, he's fucking oh, scheming yeah. here. He's, he's, he's fucking wanked. He'll be in a corner somewhere fucking sleeping it off now, he will. Yeah. Oh, Rod, yeah. I saw oh, that I'll, post on that. I'll, I'll potentially be on there in an hour. It's like, no, you won't. Nah, you'll, you'll be... Sleep. <laughs> You'll be in a shop door, mate. Fucking said in it. <laughs> no, it, it I, I was, I was liking all, all star, you know, love heart and all this stuff on um, on Twitter. He put loads of stuff on uh, Untapped. He, he, he got a couple of photos with other people and at the Guinness Bar. That was quite a nice photo, I thought. If you've been on this Untapped or Twitter, you'll see it. But. Not yeah, he was telling us that he's uh, updated a lot on his own tab. I don't know if he done anything on Periscope. He said he was going to, but... I had someone ask me today, oh, when are you next on Periscope? I was like, well, I don't plan it. I just go when I feel like it. I'm not like... But then I said I might yeah. start doing a regular thing. When, but it, as long as it doesn't clash with anyone else, of course I'll, I'm, I'm going to need to want a beer as well. I don't want to have to. Have yeah, a you beer. don't just like do it for the sake of it. Yeah, I, not not. I don't want to. Yeah, because that completely day, defeats the point of the whole yeah. hobby. It, it, I know. I know. Rob does like his Thursday night thing. Although yeah. he, he missed probably a couple of months through Christmas and doing other things, and, which is fine. Um, I don't want to commit myself to a certain time every week because I don't know if I'm not busy doing something or I don't want a beer because I've done a hanging out the night before or something, or you know, it's, it's kind of. But it's nice that people are asking, oh, you, you know, do, it's quite good to watch. I'm like, oh, that's nice to hear. I don't think so, but I just, because I'm just rambling about nothing. But it's just nice that I had that, someone asked me that today. I oh, yeah. that's nice. I'm a bit slow yeah, so replying back, back, on YouTube. Thanks for the shout out on uh, Monday, sorry. Monday? Sorry, I don't know what happened. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> no, on the on the beer tubers and out. I couldn't yeah. make it. And you just mm -hmm. just gave me a shout. Out. I wasn't sure what. Yeah, that's right. I wasn't sure what what happened. Yeah, no. A fucking back's been. I think I've troubled me back, mate. So much pain and stuff. Yeah. I'm just managed to sort of. No, that's fair enough. It out now, and. I mean, Peter mentioned it earlier on, like you know, whether I will join you or not. I said, yeah, I'll be mm -hmm. I'll be up for doing the hangout tonight because you know just sort of break away from the, the, you know taking tablets and all that crap yeah that's a problem isn't mm -hmm. it? I, I, I think sometimes having a beer helps the tablets are shit mm -hmm. beer is better yeah. I've found that before yeah beer, beer works it yeah. does once you Expensive. get to a point it, you forget about any a bit less than any kind of pain because like, every now and again I get a toothache and then I'll drink a cold beer and it kills because it's cold mm. and then a few beers in can't feel it <laughs> I'll take yeah. a pill and it, it just it just doesn't do anything no I, I hate teeth and dentists anyway so I'm petrified of it I, I, I wish we didn't have teeth in a way just, I can't, you know, I'd, I'd rather just have false teeth. I would. They're a pain in the ass. <laughs> like, oh. I, I, I can appreciate that. My teeth are terrible. Mm. I've got some left, but, but yeah, I just, yeah. 
Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> Don't like talking about them. <laughs> Fucking thing. <laughs> Where's everyone gone? Is he gone again, is he? <laughs> Who's that? Just pouring this. Meantime, is that the pale ale? Macro beer, uh, yes, it is 4.3 percent. Big Centennial and Kentish Goldings. Wow, that's a bit weird. Is it right to the last bit? <laughs> that's hops to you and me. Uh, really, um, so it's a bit like that, it's kind of. Surprised they put them two and then put Kentish Goldings in. I, think, I don't mind Kent Goldings. I think but... Kent's got quite a a good supply of hops. No, it? I don't mind them, but I don't, like sometimes, I, sometimes I hear when they've got two lovely American hops there, I'm not always sure whether East Kent Goldings or yeah. Fuggles matches with. It, it's like it's like when I, when I see these beers that have got like nine hops, it's like <laughs> you're not going to get the effect of nine different hops. Some hops are going to completely overlook cross other over. hops. Yeah. They're going to cross over. Yeah. It's like that, that thousand, thousand IBU beer. It's just bollocks. fucking bollocks, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? It's just, it's just like hot boils. That's all you get, and you just get like the residue of the hops, not the flavour. No character, just like the aftermath, but just like amplified. <laughs> amplified. So I remind me of Forty Towers now. I'm a Forty Towers freak. I, you know, um, it reminds me of that sketch with. Uh, I don't know if you ever watched it. Um, Mrs. Richards, which is like an old woman who can't hear. Anyway, I, I'm boring. I don't, I, 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 yeah, I, I remember a lot of false towers, but I can't remember that one. That's no I, sketch. Give me, yeah. give me a Waldorf a, salad. I'm gonna bust your ass. Yeah, that, that's uh, the Americans. That one. I'm, I'm, I'm a Forty Towers geek as well as a beer geek. Oh, fucking! Okay. It's a shame. It's a shame that never went on for longer. That really. Oh yeah. Was it two, two, two series? series Twelve. Yeah. Twelve episodes yeah. only. Yeah. It's a shame. You'd think it'd be more, wouldn't you? Because it had yeah. so much scope. Oh yeah. A lot, of pe- a lot of people don't get it now. I think it's just like brilliant. Oh, it's fucking classic. It's timeless. But people, look, people's humour are like. Because it's silly, simple humour. Yeah. I think because it's... Yeah, people, that people kind of need level. this, like, people intelligent... Well, no, it's perfect, perfect comedy, that was. Yeah. Oh, I get it. <laughs> yeah, it's just like... You could see the same gag played over and over again, and it's just as funny each when he's, time. It's when, he's, um, when he's beating the shit out of his mini with that... Bit of, he's got like a branch or something. <laughs> like, yeah. He's just whipping the fuck out of his mini. I mean, that's just classic. Yeah. Cool, it. Yeah. yeah. I used to like, uh, yeah, I mean, some of us do have them and stuff like that as well. That was... Oh, Betty. Oh. <laughs> fucking amazing stuff. He did, he did all that he's off his own back. Like, you know, all this stuff. Oh, yeah. I played that part earlier. Frank Spencer. Frank Spencer. Frank Spencer lives. <laughs> oh, uh, no, there's, there's some good ones out there. This looks quite dark. I wasn't expecting it to look this kind of. It's very clear. It's filled with. Go on, let, let's have a live review then, Craig. Go on. Um, well, it's a parallel, but but it's. It comes across a bit malty, to be honest. It's a bit kind of that kind of woody miss to it. 
it has got you can pick up a little bit of kind of pineiness as well kind of um, that hot oil pineiness to mm-hmm. it a bit but it's room temperature so yeah. maybe some light kind of I don't even know Yeah, there's a bit of kind of light grapefruit, but there's not much else going on with it, to be honest. Why would you rate it? It's okay. It's got a little bit of bready malt going on as well. Years ago. It's more... It's, it's just basic... It's okay. It's not. It's not horrible. But... Mm-hmm. It's serviceable. It's palatable. If it was on, you'd have it kind of beer. Mm-hmm. If there was nothing else on, and it was just lagers, you'd think, yeah, I'd have that. It's got a bit more taste than that, of course. But um, I'd probably give it a six, six out of ten. Mm-hmm. I'd probably give it a review. Now. I was fucking waiting for that. I'll probably do a review and forget what I've just said now and just go, ooh, that's an eight. Yeah. Oh, I love it. It's a beautiful fucking pale monster, ale. Monster pale ale. Classic yeah, yeah. example of this style. I think I've done that before where I've like given it a higher or low rating when I've done a review and then it doesn't make sense. Or it doesn't make sense with, but your taste buds change as well. So sometimes they get better, sometimes they get worse. Mm-hmm. I don't know, but um, got, I don't think got, some uh, of my reviews don't. That fucking don't, thing. Uh, I didn't even want to tip that away. A pair of bike guys. Oh. I've seen a drink looking bleach. Than what, sorry? It was a uh, ring, Ringwood Old Thumper. I didn't mind it, actually, the bottle I had. I, I think I've done a review. I didn't I'm not sure it all. I, I tipped it down the sink in the end. Just oh, you did? Taste that, taste that water. Did you, did you do a review? No, no, I didn't review it. Just thought about opening it on the sand gal and... Started drinking it and then realised it was fucking horrible. So I, I thought I said to Peter, "Excuse me, I've got to go tip this away and get a get a hypnotist." Well, which it's all right to that. It's better than old thumper then. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> just, just about, just about. It, it's funny. It's, it's that sourness to it. I, I don't get on with it. I done a re-review of um, the second batch after the. Uh, I don't know. The, I don't know if you ever watched it. The clairvoyant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, just an add-on. You can fuck off now if you you know. But I'm doing this again. Yeah, yeah. But it was it was marginally bad. Still quite it was bad. Uh, it didn't it didn't compare to the clairvoyant. So available still. I recommend getting that? one if you can. Thing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I might, I might have a look, look around for that. Uh, you know, it's one of them beers that I, I think you, sh- if you can, you got the, the dough, then it's, it's worth mm. getting a can or two. I'd get two personally because I don't think you'd be disappointed. I've, I've been trying to promote local brewers. Around my area, yeah. No, I'm, I'm just, do, I, I'm, I'm just struggling. I'm struggling to find anybody really, to be honest, because it's just, it's a, yeah. thing. it's a deadbeat area, mate, to be. I tell you, o- other than Hook Norton, Witchwood, that is pretty much it around here. It's, it's fucking yeah. abysmal. I mean, I've been pumping time and tide from when I first. Yeah, started. well, fair play. 
Good bear. Um, good bears. I think they've got to the point now where they're you know they're fine. They're going to be good. Mm. Um, they they've got some belting bears there. But I mean that that cracking stout, that's phenomenal. Oh, that is it that, won the beer of Kent for last or for twenty sixteen. Rightly so, as well. That's um, phenomenal beer, that one. I can remember, I can remember reviewing that, and I, I really thought, hang on a minute. Yeah. This, this, this brewery's got my attention now, because that was a bloody really good beer. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I, I've pretty much reviewed all of their core range before before a lot of people got to know who they were, if you know what I mean. Mm. I've got yeah, a place now. Yeah, being local and yeah, um, yeah. I mean, they used to do bottles and stuff, so I've reviewed a few bottles. They don't do bottles anymore, they're just all cans. Well, mm. I'm just going to go for a Jimmy, I'll be back in a sec. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm waiting for Rod to jump on this stuff. Yeah. Although, I think I've got to call it in a minute, actually. Yeah, sure, no problem. It's quarter to two now. I didn't realise time. It just goes it's Unbelievable, on. isn't it? Yeah. Unbelievable. Fucking hell, we, start, we, we started at half seven. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. But I know some people would have, like, gone offline, like, two or three hours ago. I'm just happy to... And let it just run. Yeah, yeah because I know some people will end up watching this. So, <clears throat> just quickly check if we've got comments. Nope, no new comments. No. But we've got two uh, viewers apparently. Okay, cool. Fair play to you. But yeah, have you got any uh, interesting beers coming up? Um, interesting beers coming up. Nothing, nothing sort of like wow. Um, I've got a delirium beer that I'm going to be taking a look at, which is pretty easy to get hold of. Mm -hmm. The blue, the blue one, I think. Tre Tremor, Tremens, is it? William Tremens. Yeah. Um, of course, I'm keeping them two beers for the back burner for what you sent for, for reviews. Yeah. Yeah, good. Good job. What the fuck is that? <laughs> it's the cat. Oh, right, okay. It's like a blanket from here. Yeah, he just completely covers the screen. Oh. And now I can see his arse. There <laughs> we go. <laughs> it should be the thumbnail. Quality. Beautiful starfish you got there, mate. <laughs> yeah. Get flagged. <laughs> oh, there. <laughs> I've got the arts in my face, it's all good. You need, you need to do your look of disgust now. Yeah. <laughs> Funny enough, he has been sick today. <laughs> For whatever reason. Some beer glass. Can't lick that. <laughs> yeah. There we go. It's five minutes of fame. Yeah. <laughs> it's the most important part of this, so it's all good. Cool. <laughs> 
don't think Craig realises he's got his mic off. No. You muted, Craig. No, you've you've turned your camera off now, Craig. Yeah. Ah, should we call it a day then? Oh. I think so. Is that better? Oh, now he's back. Oh. I'm gonna jump off anyway. I'll uh, I'll see you guys when I see you next. Yeah. Yeah. Take care. Cheerio, see you later, later, Dean. Always a pleasure. And um, see you in the next one. Are you going? Eh? Uh. I was going to set off, but I can stay on for a couple more minutes. What, online, online or on air? Uh, well, I, I just always keep it on air anyway. But I was going to log off. Yeah. But I can stay on for a little bit. Log off if you want. And then uh, have a chat after. Yeah, all right then. Well, I think I will call it there. So anybody who's stayed up until this point, a massive thank you. And um, yeah, go check out Dean and, of course, Craig, <laughs> as well as Rod, who made a, an interesting and um, probably regrettable appearance. Uh, but oh, did he? I'd miss that. Yeah, he was... Uh, live from the beer festival and he was absolutely wankered which is always good to see but um yeah so thank you guys for watching and uh yeah check out everyone who i've mentioned down below and i hope you'll join us for our next review and i'm saying this as the only person watching this stream has left so if if that's not a sign, I don't know what is. See you later, guys. Cheers.